Oh, <laughs> there, we, there we are. Oh, there we are indeed. There we are. All right, so we got Dustin uh, in here for for Try tonight because Try is uh, working on the uh, analog duo episode. The uh, the embargo lifts tomorrow, and he just like needs the extra time. So uh, Dustin, who is a good friend, and we 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 work at at, at our real job together. Yes, that's right. And Dustin's been on, on is, the stream. Is it a times. real job, though? Honestly, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, you know, I was I was just thinking, like, oh, what, what should I play? You know, we were kind of brainstorming some stuff last night, and I was like, I'm gonna play. Give me toilet paper. Um, because... <laughs> <laughs> and he got no complaints from me. <laughs> yeah, because I was just like, you know, that like, what is like literally the stupidest thing that I could play? And this, this is it. So is, if, is anybody familiar with this game? You gotta let me know if, if the audio levels is good. If they're good, I mean, it's, it looks good on my part here, so. If this is a meme game, I don't know that it's a meme game. So oh, I, didn't, I, I have no idea if it is at all. Okay. Hopefully uh, we're on the front end of like a meme game thing. Maybe. Maybe nobody else has, uh, uh, has done anything with this yet. Um, I'm so curious about how it works. So you you said that you have to use a a toilet paper roll. Is that <laughs> yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm like I'm in, in the recliner tonight, obviously. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you're. Do you see the stream too? Uh, yeah, I just pulled it up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. Yep. Yeah, so because all right, so I'm gonna switch over to um, the game here. I'm gonna see. How it how it how it looks and how it sounds. Uh, thank, so. thank you so much for having me on the uh, the toilet paper stream. Of course, just, you know it just it means a lot, and I think it really speaks to like our friendship. Um, and I just want to thank you for the opportunity to be the toilet paper guy. <laughs> to be the toilet, you bet. All right. So this game this game is played with toilet paper in your house. The, uh, okay. To play the game, please prepare the following three items. New toilet paper, flat board, and two sheets of toilet paper, or of tissue paper. Or toilet paper, if you prefer. And you this take is like, the joy This is better than, this is better than Labo. <laughs> Pretty much. Not that I've ever used the Labo, but I mean, I, I will take your word for it. Then you just take the, the tissue paper, insert the bottom in, inside of the Joy-Con. Oh, and then you put a foof in it, like when you're all when you're in college. The Joy-Con is not wobbling when you shake it. And you gotta, and you gotta okay. stuff it, you gotta stuff the dryer sheets into the toilet paper roll. <laughs> I just used other pieces of toilet paper. So I got a brand new roll of toilet paper. It's okay. like it's the last brand new roll of toilet paper in the house, FYI. Uh, so I think it's a good idea for me to get this. All right. So I've already done this, right? And I have co-opted my daughter's fifth grade class art project as to use as the board. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got this. I placed the toilet paper in the middle of the board. You said you said, you said that was your daughter's. It's just like her class, yeah. I see you have the same respect for her that you do for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't find a board like this, you know, anywhere else. I mean, I had, okay. I had a Re wooden you know, board I was going to try to recycle. use, but that sounded really heavy. What's that? Reuse, recycle. It's fine. No, that's, that's good. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's just sitting over there. They're not going to know that I use it unless I no, of course somehow not. destroy it. And I just go like this, and I see if it rolls, as you can see got the uh okay and you've got the little bar on the top to yeah so does it feel pretty like responsive uh yeah i mean it's just yeah it's just using the the motion and the joy joy con so please keep it with an easy reach finally just the ease of rolling and play the game so awesome. i get to do this and i so when i i have it centered right now right keep on hitting the capture i keep i've taken so many accidental captures of this game <laughs> that i have at least 
like probably seven captures at this point. Uh, so I use X to center it. So it's like right there. Mm -hmm. I say that that's centered, right? And I, you know, then you can, yeah, you can see. It feels like, it. oh, you know what's going on here? It's opposite. Cause you gotta make sure that the Joy-Con's facing the right way. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so you see what I'm doing here? The, the yeah. problem is like the toilet, piece of toilet, or the roll of toilet paper is kind of crushed. So it wobbles a little bit. Can yeah, you reshape I, I it? like that will uh, make Just it more challenging. Just use your hand to, to reshape it, unless you want the kind of Well, I mean, I tried strange to, shape. but it's just, I can, I can just pump it up a little bit. But we'll try this. All right. And we'll cool. just go with it. So I played the first level. Room 01, I'm toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, your boy. Toilet paper. <laughs> Be aware of your surroundings. Allow adequate room around you during gameplay. So I'm sitting. I should be okay. But if I need to stand, I think it'll be okay. You're probably safe. I mean, is this... I don't know if this game is like a meme game. And if, if it isn't, then... Not I'm that I know of. To... Not that I know of, but I'm always like way late to memes. Like Yeah. If, if, it, if it's not a mean game, it should be. Like, speaking of toilet, like, the, the skibbity toilet thing, like, I I discovered way, way too late. <laughs> or not too late. <laughs> what is too late? So, oh, so I got it. And when you nice. get it, he okay. says, get you. <laughs> get you. <laughs> He's crying. He's so happy. He's crying. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you see oh, the? Uh, okay. okay. You see the super chat, or I mean, do you have the ability to see that stuff? Yes, I have the super chat. Yes, from Dad, eleven fifty three, uh, five dollars. Thank you. Can't believe Xbox Seagate storage remains as pricey as three years back. Needed one badly though, so had to assume the position and ahem, take it. <laughs> I have not upgraded any of my newest consoles for for storage. Um, our mutual friend Colton, uh, who actually has a a channel of his own, Consoleoscopy, where he takes apart and cleans consoles and controllers and stuff, um, he has been pushing us to to upgrade. Although I think you've already upgraded your yeah, PS5, yeah, I've upgraded. Right? Uh, did, did you upgrade your Xbox? Uh, I got a good deal on an Xbox uh, Seagate storage, the one terabyte, a long time ago, and. Uh, okay. You know, I I haven't needed to since then. I haven't I haven't done it. I'm All right. I'm fine with the the plebeian deleting of <laughs> of old game <laughs> files that I don't play anymore. He's dangerous. Yeah, this uh this bathroom decor is just irresponsible. I mean, someone could get hurt. <laughs> yeah. What is what do you think that is? There's like a there's like a dowel there. I don't know. Is that? Can you? I don't know. Maybe something for you to oh. land on. I'm not sure. <laughs> Get See, you. People are like, wait, this looks like fun. Heck yeah! I mean, you could cheat. I could just sit here and do this if I wanted. Is this? To. Is this? Uh, how much is this on the? On it's, the it's five bucks. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. It's, it's, well, I'm, does that doesn't that sound worth it? it? Yeah, this seems kind of cool, actually. If he got the space for it. Oh! <laughs> I like when I die and it says, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Because like the toilet paper. Explode into, into confetti. <laughs> I, I like your little wobble as you're getting ready. Here we go. Oh, we oh. Go. But... <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, just trying to keep it together. You know, this is. If I, if I did this for. If I do this for the entire stream, I feel like that'd be a good, pretty good workout. Oh, oh, whoo! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, man, are your arms good? What <laughs> We're gonna see. What what muscles are being worked right now? Uh, like my shoulders, for sure. Oh man, we'll see how long you can go. Oh, oh no! It fell. It's okay. <laughs> my. 
I just saw it. I just caught up to it on the stream. Oh, see when that happens. Which in this kind of stinks, as you gotta see. Now you got well. Now you got to think about building your own custom give me toilet paper rig that's got walls <laughs> on the edges and maybe like little rope handles or something for comfort. You know, build some ergonomics into it. You know, just just what makes sense. Yeah. Well, this has to go on your games that you played this oh, year. Oh yeah, for sure. I feel like it, you've got a few things like like novelty things on your your coming end year list year end. <laughs> Maybe list. I. Uh... I don't know. I just feel like there's been more things this year that you've just been like, you know what? I'm gonna play something really stupid. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Not like a ton though. I haven't played like anything. <laughs> Madonna, she he says, got to get the Chubbins DLC. <laughs> yeah. Was it, Chubbins this year? No, that was last year. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. See, you, you could definitely cheat at this, like, pretty easily. But that's that'd be no fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it would be easy to cheat at though? Because like, I feel like using your hands, like you wouldn't have enough surface area to really, I don't know, you, there's only so much you can kind of rotate oh. your. I thought I was, I thought I lost it. Oh, stay there, stay there, come on. Well, no, I guess, okay, that's, yeah. I'm good at the jump box. Oh, this one has springs on it. I don't, I don't like his hand like down there between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, bro? He's, he's he's real upset. He he really just cries constantly. He cries if he loses it, no, and he cries serious. if he gets it. Thankfully, you can wipe away your tears with toilet paper. Oh shoot! <laughs> you know, I was I was saying earlier. I was telling Dustin about how you know my son was playing uh, Fortnite. And this popped up when I was trying it out, see if it was something worth streaming. Uh, and he like came running up or downstairs. He's like, you're playing, give me toilet paper. So excited. That's why I asked if it was a meme game. Cause like, I assume if Monty knows about it, then. Yeah, but I don't know. You know I just think that there's the something hot about stuff the, right the name. That probably I think you, I think you were the one that mentioned Skibbity Toilet that had me. Oh look. yeah. <laughs> Is that phase done? Are we done with Skibbity Toilet? Uh, now? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got I got I got kind of sucked into it. I'm gonna be honest. Like I watched all of it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's I mean it's really it's really stupid. Uh, but I got the song stuck in my head, and my wife and I are still kind of singing it around the house sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember like the first day that I had watched all of it, I mentioned it to you in our like our private, you know, work chat. And yeah. uh and you were like, yeah, I was like, oh man, God. I need this to be a skibbity toilet free zone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what you said. Was... <laughs> and I was like, okay, respect. Yeah. I, well, that's the only the only place I could go to escape from it. Yeah. Oh shoot. This is like it's so nerve wracking. Yeah, it seems like it's already well, ramped up I mean, challenge like buzz saws are so serious yeah they're terrifying oh no what is this one why is this one a red one uh it's gonna launch you hot oh. Ooh. oh shoot okay the hit detection's weird then because it looks like you kind of passed through the bottom part of those spikes and <laughs> It's like it's it's really stressful. Get you. All right. Oh, what, I don't know what this one was called. Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. Oh, look at this. This is like I can, I can get into this. <laughs> we got like a. 
<laughs> or, or a uh, like a UFO catcher arm taking me down. Like the the bathroom cool. is. Oh, that's a right. Giant Henry UFO Clark, catcher. Maybe. Take take me with you is the level name. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm unsure if Tri's going to be upset that he that he's not on the stream. That he missed he's gonna this. Be like, he's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I, I have a sneaking feeling that he's going to be a little bit. Oh, out. man. You did give me toilet paper. That might be my game of the year. <laughs> but this, this is... Uh, we've been crunching on this duo video. Speaking of Game of the Year, did you watch the Game Awards? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there were some pretty exciting announcements. Like, Well, especially like the Sega one. Is like, oh, that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, I was... Yeah, very, I'm very pleased with that. I'm I'm certain that like 50% of those games will end up being disappointing. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, I, it's cool that they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looked like the Shinobi is being made by the people who made Streets of Rage 4 and uh, Wonder Boy. Uh, oh, that's cool. The Dragon's Trap. That's that's cool. That Wonder Boy game is really good. Yeah. I was it was it Dragon's Trap or the other one that came around around that same time that I liked more? Oh jeez, my controller, my Joy-Con fell out. Oh, oh no, you didn't put enough foof in it. I didn't. I, maybe that's it's just been, what I'm gonna call I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna grab another. I got. I already got another one over here. Yeah, my we're we're primarily console gamers in this house and we're also like very much like physical media people so like we don't have Baldur's Gate yet we did we haven't played it yet I know it's like super good but my wife wasn't really aware of like the impact that it had and to her this year was just like well it's it, it's the year that Zelda came out right it's Tears of the Kingdom year yeah which you know like I, I totally agree I love that game um but like when Baldur's Gate started winning everything and I think Zelda won like two big thing maybe one or two big awards and the Baldur's Gate got game of the year. She was like, "Okay, what is Baldur's Gate? What is it? Why, okay, why do so I feel like I need to know?" Especially no, in, oh, she, the third one. Yeah, she's like, "Should I play the first two? And I'm like, "I mean, yes, but no." But, you know, but they they did <laughs> re-release them. We they did they did. I'm gonna go to yeah, easy. She was just. Do she I was want just trying to, to kind of shock, but it just you know what it just reminded me that like That's this has been like a really strong year for games. Yeah. That's it's like, a, been... like an un like an unusually strong year. All right. The Joy-Con did not fall in the toilet, thankfully. Oh jeez. I don't know if I want it to be easy to move or hard to move. Like I don't know if I'm making it harder or more or easier. Are you cheating now? What are you doing? No, there there was an option for uh, making it easier or harder to move. Oh, okay. And I don't know if I want it to be. Should I try it the other way? I'm going to try it the other way. Just to see what it does. Yeah. So I've gone all the way the other way. Let's try it. Uh, Madonna's asking, who do you think Jet Set Radio 3 is being made by? Do you have any idea? I don't know. I've heard stuff. I think I heard somebody say, oh, you know, like they're definitely involved. There's definitely involvement from the. Uh, Original developers, the original team, I guess, mm -hmm. which would be like Smilebit, I guess, like whoever was there. Okay, so this is not. Sorry, I keep on adjusting it here. I'm just gonna go to the Senate. So I, like... I, I traumatized Jess, my wife, with Jet Set Radio Future because I was trying to get all the achievements and. Um, the night that I was really trying to wrap that up, there were a couple that were just, there were certain runs that you had to do that you had to be perfect on, right? Yeah. Um, and it took forever and there was a lot of cursing. Oh, you're talking and... <laughs> about the, the remaster of the first one. Uh, yeah, yeah. The one that was on 360, was that right? Yeah, that was just a jet, that was just a jet grind radio and that was like the first one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, a anytime that those games are mentioned at all. She's just like, yeah, no, you're not allowed to play those anymore. <laughs> there we go. Whew. Get you. Uh, but yeah, I felt like the the, the other uh, announcement that I thought was really exciting is uh, is the, the new Mana game, which was surprising. 
yeah. uh, visions of mana. I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. About halfway through it, I was just like, oh, this is, I think this is a mana game. Yeah. And it was. Uh, At first, I was like, oh, another Tales, Tales of something. Yeah. Then you see a Square Enix. And, yeah. I mean, it looks like Trials of Mana with a budget. Yeah. <laughs> this is on Switch. I don't know if it's Switch exclusive, but I could see how it would be. You can't exactly. Uh, put a dual dual sense instead of a roll of toilet paper. Have it's, you tried it's, cheating it's yet to see how easy it is to cheat? Because I'm not convinced it would be easy to cheat. All right, well, I'll try it. Hang on. I mean, to be honest, it's actually uh. kind of fun like this. That's actually kind of fun. Oh, huh. well, maybe that's a maybe when that's your shoulders like the get tired, right? Yeah, that's the, that's the alt. I mean, it looks like there's. St there could be a similar kind of challenge to doing it that way. Certainly not the same. But... Oh, jeez. I, I gotta, you know, I gotta balance it. Oh, oh, it goes the other way too. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this seems like a nightmare. Wow. Or is it a timed thing? It looks like it's timed. It looks like you can't... You, it's not about you actually balancing yeah. it. It's that you can't spend too long on the bar. <laughs> yeah, but a great time with the toilet paper roll. Yeah, I just I think wish those, that you didn't have to center it every time. I think those first, the first two balance pegs you have to go down are to show you how long you have. One, two, three, four, five, wobble. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh. <laughs> it's, it is, it's cool. intense. This is cool. This is actually, I'm surprised. <laughs> I thought that was coming down and going to get me. Yeah. <laughs> Great. All right. Get you like it's almost as good as four toothbrushes. This is his uh, this is his family's bathroom. Four people brush their teeth in here. <laughs> oh, geez, now we got to get keys. Oh, good. That's just yeah, I gotta pick up items and go back now. <laughs> wow, and there's no oh, checkpoints. Yeah, those are red springs too, so you have to. Oh, come on. I want to buy this on my Switch right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there, is there four toothbrushes downstairs? Like, or in the. Uh... Yeah, there's four toothbrushes on the sink. We're in the cup and on the oh, sink. Oh, that's funny. All right, toilet paper. <laughs> I almost just knocked over my entire glass of water with it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been really bad. Yep, five bucks. Now, you, now, now it's yours, forever, or until. Everybody in the chat, go buy this game. Let's move the needle and make the developers go. What is happening? <laughs> yes. I mean, it's if if it's. I don't know if it's been like a a meme game. Like if it's like shown up on things. No, I'm, I'm I'm not the person to ask. But everyone needs to to share it if it hasn't. I caught on to the Suica game cool hotness only because I saw enough people on my friends list playing it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, this must be a thing. All right, well, I've got it. Got 25 points for the purchase as well. <laughs> precious, precious points. <laughs> I just, no! As long as I'm safe. 
and it like it's every time it flies off the edge, here, uh, the uh, the roll of toilet paper gets a little bit more and more crushed. Oh, it looks like Scott Snyder's been a member for forty months. Whew. Someone, for the love of God, make a mashup of this game and Incredible Crisis. Yeah. Try pick the try pick the wrong stream to miss. Game of the year, twenty twenty three. <laughs> well, Scott Snyder said it. It's out there now. Come on. I'm going to try and do it with them. The alternate method. What's that? The alternate method. Are you using your hand now? Yeah. I'm using my hand <laughs> to get my toilet paper. <laughs> Better than using your hand instead of your toilet paper. <laughs> that is that is correct. So you just got back from from California. California. That's you went right. to the uh, the dinosaur from Two yes. Big Adventure <laughs> and uh, yeah, and the Cabazone the Cabazone dinos. It was cool. Um, after Paul Rubens passed, I had seen that they had painted it in, with the peewee suit. The oh, really? Suit with the red thing. Oh, that's uh, nice. But I guess that was super temporary because when I was there, they had already painted it to be Santa Claus. So, but that's okay. Yeah, it was fun. Um, got a T-shirt at the gift shop, which was inside the Apatosaurus. You had to climb up his tail. It's kind of cool. What does it say on it? It says, "Large Marge sent me." <laughs> Which I guess is the only thing they can get away with because they didn't really have any Peewee merchandise and it doesn't, other than the words, it doesn't indicate that they're it's Peewee related. It's just got like a their logo on it. Oh, I see. But they didn't have yeah, any wizard stuff, stuff, obviously. Oh no, nothing at all. That's too bad. I mean, if they just had a thing that said California on it. California. I mean, do, do, do they? Maybe they do. I didn't see anything. If I if I had seen a wizard t-shirt, I would have scooped that thing up. <laughs> I did. I did come back with maybe four t-shirts from California, though. That's good. Cool. Uh, cool. Well, we went to. I didn't get to spend very much time in Los Angeles, which is kind of you know what I would have rather been doing, but I was working, so I didn't really have much of a choice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, spent a day in the high desert and then we went out to palm springs you know we were you know what we do out there um Gosh, darn. and then we had a day in los angeles so we went to eat at pink's hot dogs and that was really nice um i did have in and out three times in a week <laughs> yeah, <laughs> while i, I was your, out your there photo there that you sent uh double double animal style baby it's real good um but yeah, it was it was a good trip. It was my first time uh, out to California. I'd been to the West Coast oh, really? before. Yeah, yeah, never been before. Um, and I got to see a pile of human feces on the side of Hollywood Boulevard. And that's, you know, hmm. if you don't see that, then you haven't really been to L.A., I think. So, um, but it, yeah, it was a good trip. Then we the last part of the trip, we were up in Sacramento, uh, which it was fully in fall bloom. It was beautiful. Like, it was really orange and red. So that was nice. How do I get down there? You gotta use the portal. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Some of these mechanics, these are surprising mechanics, I think. This is kind of neat. Yeah. I do think it's, it may, might be a little bit more fun to play it like this. Would anybody yeah. have like a lot of any objection if I played it like this? By kind should of alternating a, back and forth at least. Should we make a poll? <laughs> yeah, please. Do. I feel like I'll be able to get further if I do this. How many times it's rolled off the edge? If I had a bigger piece of cardboard, I'd say that would make a lot of sense. But we got to go for it from Cloud FF7 2000. So yeah, that's the final word right there. <laughs> Get you. Uh, the only other time I've been out to the West Coast was a couple years ago. I went to Portland, and that was really fun. Um, my wife was attending a 
writing conference up there and I basically got to just tag along and I just ran around all day in the in the rental car and explored the city and went hunting for games and movies and stuff like that so yeah it was a good time so I guess you, Very, didn't, have to, you didn't go to get to go to game dude when you were there this time. I don't I what, is, or, what is game dude game dude is like a game store in, in LA oh no I definitely didn't definitely did not I did go to Amoeba Music which was uh, probably the one store that I really wanted to go to uh, and I got a couple of vinyls I got the uh, John Carpenter's uh, movie theme anthology volume 2 and the soundtrack from Twin Peaks oh I have volume 1 of the John Carpenter yeah I need to pick that up they, I would have gotten that if they had had it but uh, now I need to get that up to that full clear you gotta see the so whole game tonight do you have any idea how many levels there are uh, there's a screen full of them, so I don't really know. Oh. This guy just has the worst luck, though. I wonder what the range of him catching it is. <laughs> like, because. You know, some of these you have to like fling it over to him, right? Yeah. Okay, now we got switches. Yeah, flip the switch. I feel like a lot of these things are just not—they're not gradual. Like they give you a new obstacle, and it's yeah. immediately super hard. I always second guess myself first, where I think like, "Am I doing this?" the way they intend me to or is it actually that much of a jump in difficulty Ooh. Andrew Ritchie Twin Peaks OST is so good yes it is long live Bedalamenti oh wait he's already dead too late it sucks but his music is real good. The the Fire Walk With Me soundtrack is really, really excellent. They had that too, but it was like twice as much as the regular Twin Peaks soundtrack. So I just went with the, the regular, the TV show soundtrack. I've, uh, I've never seen the entire show. I've only seen, uh, not even the first, entire first season. It was a I wild ride. Was First on, season's but... really good. Yeah. First season's really, really good. The second season is like half bad, and then it gets kind of pretty good in the end. Mm -hmm. Like the last episode especially, last two-ish episodes are super good. Um, and then season three, The Return, is kind of pretty bonkers. I, 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 like, I do like it a lot. A lot of people are just like, oh, it's his masterpiece. It's magnum opus or whatever. I don't know that I agree with that. I feel like he's a little like... He's, I think he's grown a little more antagonistic toward his audience. Um, and I think it kind of started with Inland Empire. Oh, interesting. I never, um, I've never seen that. I mean, it, I've, it's always been like pretty hit, hit or miss with me. Yeah. I mean, there's just, there's weird stuff in the back end of that show that, you know, in order to understand the plot that has happened, you had to have remembered a weird set of numbers that were arbitrarily mentioned in the first couple of episodes. And it's like, <laughs> come on, like you're better than this. <laughs> Don't be lost. You're better than lost. <laughs> idea. There's just a lot of go a lot going on here. Whatever I did, I did it right. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> oh, the music in the show. So you're def I thought you were definitely about the music saving in games you. unsettling. Oh. And I was like, I don't know. No, the Twin Peaks music is unsettling. It might be fun if I do it like this. If I just kind of roll it across with my other hand. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like a reverse UFO catcher now. What? 
Oh, okay, I see. I mean, this is this definitely makes it a lot easier to do it like this. Is it more fun? I mean, sure, certainly it's saving your shoulder. Yeah. Shoulders. Uh, I think it's kind of fun like this. Well, as long as you're having fun. Yeah. Uh, no, what, so what is the deal with the Final Fantasy 16 DLC? Uh, I don't even know. Oh, I, I thought know. that they were not going to do DLC. That's what I had heard, too. I guess they just what, couldn't resist, what, right? What is the DLC? Let's see. I don't know. I wish that I was more interested because I, I, I just feel pretty done I mean I'm like 10 to 12 hours into it and I stopped playing it because it wasn't I don't know. Uh, it, it's really really easy to put down after those really huge moments yes. of which it has like a like ton kind of problem with it I feel like it slows it goes routinely it goes from like 100 miles an hour to like 2 miles an hour yeah and it's like it, 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 it builds. A, it's like a. <laughs> it's like an explosions in the sky song, and if you don't oh, get that yeah. reference, I I hope someone in the chat does. <laughs> but it's like yeah, it just builds up and builds up and builds up, and then the moment you know that it's building to is so so big that you're just like, is this the end of the game? I'm only eight hours into this or whatever. Yeah. But it keeps doing that over and over and over again. So I'm at the the low point after one of those. You know buildups yeah and it's just easy to put it down at that point and be like oh whew, okay feel like i've gotten through something and then <laughs> you stop playing it for two months i yeah, really I, the game has its moments but i don't know i was really not a fan of 15. I'm, yeah well same I, here i kind of i kind of hated it <laughs> yeah by the end i, but, I really kind of hated it and I think that's the only Final Fantasy I've actively like, really actively disliked. <laughs> now I haven't played I haven't played all of them, all of them. Like I haven't played like the third thirteen Lightning Returns or whatever. Oh yeah. Oh did you did you, you didn't did you read the thing from the donation from Madonna Chihi? Uh It's it's okay if you didn't because I I got it right here. I can keep an eye on it too. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Yeah, you can. Nine minutes ago. Sorry about that. Uh, oh my bad! I'm, I'm not paying attention. I'm doing uh, five dollars for the cost of the honest. digital version. Uh, enjoying Christmas time and having fun watching this already legendary stream tonight. Thanks for a fun one. Did you yeah. hear that? Legendary. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that seems uh, we... uh, a little generous. It's awesome. Thank you. I assume I. See, because of Madonna, the game was free for you tonight, Corey. <laughs> and you know, that's what Christmas is all about. That's, that is what Christmas is all about. Getting free shit. So, <laughs> stuff. Sorry. I forgot this was a family stream. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, got a one dollar or two dollar. Sorry. We got two dollar donation from Shadow Mask. Uh, oh, thank you. Mi a million dollars, but you have to edit videos with a TP mouse, the toilet paper mouse. I don't know. I, I think doesn't sound does not sound good. If I have a million dollars, why do I have to edit videos? Yeah, you could retire. <laughs> yeah, you could pay someone else to do it. Yeah, oh, there you go. And they have to edit with it with a toilet <laughs> yeah. paper mouse. Sorry, them's the rules. Don't ask us. Ask Shadow Mask. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your step. We got buzz saws. We got lasers. It's too much. This is like um, Meat Boy, Super Meat Boy. Yes, it's like Super Meat Boy with, with toilet paper. Just a bit more scatological. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I wish the toilet paper talked when it's like, I feel like it wants to go wolf, wolf, it need, You wolf. know what it needs? It needs like a voice. The cute, the cute little face 
<laughs> like all the like all the fruits have in Suica game. <laughs> okay, well, I, I I have not, not just two that, so I, like, two I really little black beady eyes and a little smile. What I want to know is is it is it better or worse than Vampire Survivors? Oh, I think mm, I, I don't know. Neither maybe is the answer. I don't know. It's a it's a similar kind of time killer. Yeah. I, I would say that Vampire Survivors tries harder. <laughs> okay. Just because of the assets, like you yeah. know, and the uh, you know all all of the the sprite work and stuff like that in that game. You know, it it certainly tries harder, but. I would say that they're a, a comparable level of addictive. Okay. Like trying to trying to get that three thousand point game in Suiko, which kind of uh, I've heard said is like the sort of the benchmark, where it's just like, yeah, you pretty much did as good as you can do. But you look at the leaderboards, and obviously that's not true because people have ridiculous scores. I'm gonna fire it up on my end and see. <laughs> I'm just gonna start playing my own game. <laughs> Men's room, Satan's counter attack. Yep, sounds about right. Esquire gamer just tuned in to Dustin mention Explosion in the Sky. I saw them a few months ago in New Haven. Yeah, they're they're amazing live. Quietest loud band in all the land. They're great. Oh, have you seen them? Oh yeah, when I was in college. Yep. Cool. In Nashville. Yeah, that was a long time ago. A long, long time ago. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it is kind of fun. I, I feel like it's more fun playing like this. It's... I think I would say you should do. Get, get I'd say you should do whatever is the most fun. Yeah, that's like the the only like mushy, touchy feely game related story that I have <laughs> is uh, thinking about when I was a kid and my dad, you know, brought home the, the NES with Super Mario Brothers for the first time, and he talks about how like you know I was only like probably three, and he put the game in front of me and we play together. And instead of like moving forward, like moving, well, continuing to move right, I would just move, run back and forth, like in the same place and just jump up and down and do whatever. Oh. And dad's just sitting there waiting for me to, you know, do to keep going. But he didn't stop me from doing that because he was just like, well, there's no wrong way to play the game. You were having a good time. So I just let you yeah. do it. I'm just like, yeah, that's a whole philosophy, man. <laughs> and then you hit the bong. <laughs> <laughs> But that's true, yeah. It's just, it is it's, true, it's, yeah, it is it's true. Like a, that's a good lesson. Probably uh, a lesson that, that more people could stand and think about these days. Yeah, let's see. I'm, not that this means anything to you, but my high score in Suica game is 2796, so 2796. So I have not hit the elusive 3000 game, but like you go to online scores and I mean, so were people at 14,000, like, is there other people in the chat that have played it? I'm not, uh, has anybody played sweet a game? I, I was looking through the chat. I'm looking through right now and I didn't, I haven't seen any. They're all like, don't give me someone else to get. It's only $5. <laughs> well, so, so is this, uh, it's it's it probably has more staying power than this. Wow. But I think if, if this is not a thing, like I can't believe that there is not like uh Yeah, T Soul, yes, the Suica game is on Switch. S U I K A. Oh. Elk plays and paints says when you talk about Suica game, I keep thinking you're talking about Suico Den. <laughs> I asked, you know, when I first heard the name, that's what I thought I was too. Oh, am I screwed? 
it should be. I, I wish it was Suikoden because then that would be the legend of the watermelon, and that would be way cooler. <laughs> Makes me when he's crying like that. He makes me think of Dan from uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> Street Fighter Alpha, or I mean, I guess all of them. Uh, oh, I still haven't played the new one. I was kind of turned off by the online stuff of Street Fighter Five, and that that was after playing a ton of Street Fighter Four. Uh, I played Six. Is, is good. I wish I had, would play it more. Maybe Santa Claus will bring yeah. it to me this year. What's that? Maybe Santa Claus will bring it to me this year. There you go. Have you finished all your Christmas shopping yet? <sighs> I haven't even started. <laughs> well, you're just gone. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm so in trouble. Well, Jess hasn't either, and she's just like, we are, we're screwed. Like, what are we gonna do? I'm like, uh, you know. Maybe go out uh, next weekend and just buy a bunch of junk. Yeah. Or just don't see if anybody's. Or or don't. Yeah, I mean, we just, talked about I would scaling. Just, like board. not get anybody anything. And I'd be like, that's the new. That's the new normal. Yeah. Yeah. That would you be nice. I mean, say, we're de listen, we definitely have just, to budget ourselves because, like, you know, I just had a baby this year, or yeah, technically my wife did. <laughs> See, I've already got dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what I, you know, if, what I would do is, <laughs> I mean, me if you ever get like, like, uh, what like you? gift cards or something like that from anybody. Yeah. I would just say like, listen, just give yourself the gift card that you're going to give to me. Cause that's what we do anyways. Hmm. Then no one would do that. They'd be like, eh, I'll just save it. <laughs> that's the it's thing kind of I part of it. Is like, that. like that's the thing I like about gift cards. Like cash is cool, and like I don't have any problem spending money irresponsibly. So this is not really for me necessarily. No. But like, I do like the idea of gift cards because it's like I'm forcing you to enjoy yourself. Yeah. You have to spend it on something. You know, <laughs> you can't save it. But it's definitely, uh, I don't know. I feel like I get gift cards and I like give those same people like the same gift card that they gave me. And I'm like, let's just tell each other to like either not get anything or just say like, give, yeah. give yourself the gift card you're going to give me. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I mean, I kind of pride myself on being good at gift giving, like, like being thoughtful or trying to be. But this year has been too busy for that. I think everyone who's gotten a gift from me, it's been a gift card. So I'm a shadow of my former gift giving self. Was that like a big thing? Were you like a big thoughtful gift giver for a while? Not bi I mean, not, not big time. It's not like, oh, Dustin, he's great at giving gifts. It's like, no, like I, I do put a little bit of effort into thinking about or trying to find something, you know, unique or strange or not just being like, well, what, what do they want? You know? Yeah. You know, buy something weird from like the sharper image or something like that. You know? If that was still a thing, is the sharper image still around? <laughs> the what? <laughs> the sharper image. <laughs> Only in airports, right? Maybe. Yeah. Hold on. I'm looking it up. But you know, the kind All of right. stuff that they, you could, uh, you're not in cheese. So how about a, uh, Donation to the Human Fund. That there you go. I'm not, I'm not familiar with the Human Fund, but that's a good idea. Like, just I, I do. I've been appreciating when people do that. Where it's the uh, of it's a, a fake charity. It, it's the fake charity used by George Costanza in Seinfeld. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess that. I assume it's for. I'm not well versed in Seinfeld, but I, I assume it's to scam people out of money which is is that a george thing is, is that in his character i guess it would have to be <laughs> what is toem what now 
uh, Arf just said, I just finished Tome. So charming, so short. Tome. I'd play a new Monkey Ball game oh, where, they just, like, where they ride on this a roller thing. Oh, yeah, Tome. Instead. Tome, it's like a... something. To, uh, it's a black and white... It's like a black and white, like, pen and ink style sort of game. Oh, this oh, looks cool. cute. A photo adventure. I guess you take pictures and stuff. That's cool. Got two dollars from Demo Kirby. Thank, Thank you. you. Cash is the best gift when with dealing with with dealing teenagers de in dealing with teenagers. Yeah, I, I assume it's just it's the safest thing, probably. Yeah, just let them buy what what they want. My daughter. They want. Like, they want to buy all the Roblox. They can buy all the Roblox. Yeah, Roblox. Is that what teenagers do? I have no idea. V bucks. V bucks. Everyone's like, like Get now the they just came up with a big like update for Fortnite a couple of days ago, and my son wasn't very into it. But then now he's back. He's like big into it again. Is that is that the one with Buff Peter Griffin? Because I saw something about that. It's something like I I I think that it is because I. I you know, I heard my son say, who's Peter Griffin? Wow. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, why, why, why would kids know about Family Guy? I mean, it's still on, though, right? Yeah. But I don't know. It's not something that uh, my kids really are. I'm going to have them watch. Uh, but the, yeah, they like they're all, all uh, the kids at school are excited about this new Fortnite update that like adds like Lego stuff and it. it's just like essentially Minecraft. You know? Did I dream this or was there some kind of like canon Star Wars event that happened? Yeah, before? it was like <laughs> something the, about the Emperor, like the yeah, return yeah. of the well, Emperor. That was like when Episode Nine was coming out. And that's how they uh, established that the Emperor was still alive. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, that's really important. We should, of, we should have known. We should have the known. The more I think Skywalker about was doomed the rise of Skywalker, it's like, I can't even believe that it happened. It's, it's, it is comically bad in spots. Like, it's fully comically bad in spots. The way they, deal, the, they do the chewy, like, um, the, the chewy death... Uh, turn around or whatever yeah is is pretty like immediately it's pretty, pretty ridiculous they linger on it for zero amount of time yeah it's, it's it's it is just kind of unbelievable to me that it is is as bad as it is um yeah yep and i tend to be a an apologist for a lot of stuff like that yeah, like same kinda, here like mm -hmm. i as long as i have like a good time with something i'm all right if it's it's like not that great yeah like i'm i'm definitely not the guy that hates on all the marvel stuff because i mean like yeah i'm kind of tired of it and i don't i don't watch all the tv shows and stuff but yeah i see all the movies and you know some of them are better than others and some of them are really really good and some of them are like yeah i just don't need to see it again but i also don't need to be super vocal about like yeah i, but the I whole hated thing was like they didn't have this one because there were too many ladies in it or something you know whatever But they didn't. They didn't have like the whole thing was like they didn't have a plan, right? When they right, which, which to me is, I think that's kind of interesting. I know. I know a lot of people oh, like, yeah. you know, like I to guess. not have it plotted all out and to actually like make an attempt to find interesting voices to tell interesting Star Wars stories. I think that it kind of. Like you know, J.J. Abrams made the Star Wars movie that he was always going to make. He made the Star Wars movies that he, movie that he already made with yeah. Star Trek. You know, I th I thought he was the wrong person to make Force Awakens from the beginning, but but that's that what said, he to make. like there's no way that's what he wanted to make. And I, and I think that it. I mean, like I like Force Awakens. I think it like succeeds at the thing that it really wants to do, and that is, hey, Star Wars is about interesting, fun, and funny. Uh, characters and yeah. you know them going on a pretty simple adventure, uh, all things told. And yeah, it's familiar, but also the new characters are cool. I like I liked all the new characters. Yeah, 
And then, you know, Ryan Johnson was a genuinely interesting filmmaker who I think made a genuinely interesting Star Wars movie that, um, that a lot of people, I guess, weren't ready for. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. Not, yeah. Uh, not to make and this the Star And, and I don't story. love Last Jedi either. Like, I, I have... I mean, I don't think that any of them are... I don't think anything besides the original trilogy or like is that exciting for me. <laughs> After like yeah. a first time watch, I'm like. Well, I've, I've kind of, I've kind of grown to not like Return of the Jedi as much in recent years. Really? Like, yeah, it's just kind of like, like if you watch all of those movies back to back, it feels th the most jarring in like tonal hmm. change. I mean, um, yeah, it has it has moments where it's like, all right, well, how do I do that? Uh, no, but it, it doesn't. I think you might have to go back around the other way. So I mean, like I always, down, I, I for that left, movie, yeah. like I just don't think that I'll be able to. Uh, uh, it 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 doesn't like the weirdness or the tonal change doesn't bother me because that's the only one I saw in the theater as a kid, for one. And, okay. Uh, yeah. I, I, that's like one of my earliest memories is going to see that. And the, the, I mean, I, I feel like if you're a kid and you see Return of the Jedi, you know, for the first time in theaters after kind of knowing what Star Wars is and having seen the other two movies that, you know, on, on tape or TV or whatever. Um, what? Oh, look, what? What's this? <laughs> Plot twist. I, I was not <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. See they just drop it in there like what what is going on? Uh, uh oh. What? <laughs> now you have to rescue now him. Now is it just got real. Yeah, okay. they realize like All okay, right. there's only so much the now the game has actually started now. Yeah, now like you know, now like reality is setting in this is like the second half of portal <laughs> right <laughs> oh i see this wow okay how dangerous save him oh i got it okay that's All honest. right. So I, I sacrificed myself. <laughs> I died. Look at those cute little fire guys. Yeah. <laughs> a few weeks later, and we gotta get like some a storyline now. <laughs> what? This is amazing. Yeah. Oh, he finally finished pooping. <laughs> it took him twenty-seven rolls of toilet paper and a few weeks, and a brush Did I with beat death. The game? You may have. looking like it <laughs> that was it i beat the game <laughs> call it call it <laughs> time of death <laughs> yeah that's marvelous yeah that was it oh that's cool i didn't notice that before how like the menu moves with the yeah obviously it's a five dollar game all right i feel like you got five dollars out of that i don't totally. feel bad for buying it either i'm gonna play through it I might play through it tonight. There was recently an update for it. I wonder what they... DLC? Yeah. It's the bidet DLC. I mean, it's just... <laughs> it's, there's not a lot to it. It's just, you know, it's one person made it and, and somebody doing music. Heil. Fascinating. Yeah. Well, that's great. Now you get to, I mean, if there's no other difficulty levels, does, does that mean you get to, I get, like, it's 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 a complete is a completion, I guess. It's a completion on back yeah. lottery. Congratulations. Yep. That's gonna do it for the stream. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, then I I should play something else, right? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I had to get that that uh, everybody was... one two switch. Because it you was had uh, to? it was ten dollars. Oh okay. 
I mean, that sounds like it might be like dumber than than getting. Oh, it's photos. certain. It's gonna. I, it's I'm not certainly calling, gonna be dumber. When I say dumb, I mean just kind of silly. You know? Yeah, like it's like Kitchy. it's stupid, but it knows it's stupid. All right. Well, that was fantastic. I'm 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 very pleased that you beat you completed. Give me toilet paper. It's, it's over. You can go tell Monty. Yes, I'm going to say that I've I played all the levels. I unlocked everything. I did everything. In uh, this one is night. not being upscaled. Are you proud? It was of like a mad dash to it. It it took me longer to get set up. For oh, that is that I, slip than it that slipstream game? I was circling that. Is that good? Yeah, I mean, I could play. I could just play like random stuff. Would any, everybody be okay if I just like played random stuff on here? I mean. Yes, but you have to play Suica game. <laughs> well, let, me, let me see if I have enough coins to get that. So it's uh, Suica? Yeah, S-U-I-K-A. It's not on sale. For... Oh, it's two ninety nine. All right, see? That's a bargain. I mean, you probably under the fruit understand. From flowing from the box, collide the same yeah. kind of fruit. Yeah. I'm gonna get it. This is it. It was nice knowing you, Corey. <laughs> the rest of your life is sweet. A game now. <laughs> oh, I have like almost exactly. Jamie J is asking where I'm joining from. Physically, I'm in Chattanooga, Tennessee, in the shadow of Lookout Mountain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if you're interested in where I come from on the internet, uh, you know, you you were you made this really famous video where a uh, siren <laughs> went off, a bomb siren. It has more yeah. views than Any anything other on our on channel, channel for sure. Um, I'm on an extended hiatus from uh, making content on my own channel, which you can find under Dustin Kramer. My because he just had a baby. Uh, I did have a baby. Um, yeah, and other things happened in that time that kind of put my attentions elsewhere. Uh, I'm uh, as of this year the new uh, senior features programmer for the Chattanooga Film Festival, which is something of a year-round thing. Um, that is submissions basically go pretty much all year and I'm always watching things and, you know, making selections for the film festival or helping make, helping make those selections. I should say, <laughs> um, Madonna, Madonna says I have a killer letterbox. Yes. I, uh, I mean, yeah. you guys know each other or is that, you just, no, just from, just, just no, from, just from here, uh, right? yeah. Yeah. Just from in here. So I guess yeah, really. you've talked about it before. Yeah, uh, yeah. My, so my, I don't know if I mentioned it, my flagship show on my channel was called From Camera to Console and where I talked about uh, video game adaptations of movies. Um, but I have not had a video in more than a year uh, and uh, we're, we're working on stuff for the film festival right now, the Chattanooga Film Festival, which is actually has a virtual component so you don't actually have to be physically in Chattanooga to enjoy the film festival and it comes around we do have an entire fully programmed virtual side um and if you get a virtual badge it's actually cheaper than the in-person badge uh, and you can see basically everything that we show on the ground and more uh which is which is a really good deal i think and you know has become sort of part of our mission uh in accessibility and you know i had been working with the film festival for several years in different capacities and since the pandemic, you know, and making the initial round of virtual offerings in 2020, uh, we saw like how much it meant to people that couldn't physically make it to the festival in any year. They were just like, listen, I'm, you know, uh, whatever, have a disability or, or uh, I have obligations that keep me or financially, you know, I, I need a cheaper option to, to see these new movies and, and cool things. Um, so we just wanted to keep that going. And we're we're proud every single year that we have a virtual offering because more and more film festivals that had a virtual offering through the pandemic years uh, are no longer offering those options and we continue to and we, we will continue to. Um, but yeah, that's 
The only thing I can really plug right now is our Patreon. We do have a monthly secret screening. Uh, oh, yeah. You can, you can join sure. our Discord, you know. So if you go to Patreon and look up the Chattanooga Film Festival, you can you can join and um, all of that stuff is online content. And, you know, like I said, we do a secret screening. We have a monthly uh, newsletter where we do like six streaming recommendations um, from me and the uh, festival director and the lead programmer, Chris Dorch. Uh, and it's always some weird, you know, cult underseen stuff that you can watch on like Tubi or whatever. Um, Tubi. So, yeah. Yeah, it's it's fun. This week, actually, on Wednesday, we're having our inaugural um, uh, Christmas special, which is which will be like a three and a half hour show that includes the normal like feature link secret screening. But we've got some other goodies thrown in there. So if you happen to uh, uh, subscribe to the Patreon um, at that level before Wednesday, you can join in on the fun. There will be a live chat going on Discord, and yeah, it's always it's always a really good time. It's just like a big like online watch party. But this week is extra special. <laughs> extra special. So yeah, that's it. That's my plug. I'm done. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs> like I'm, I, that's, <laughs> I had to sit through that toilet paper game. It's the least. It's the least you could do, or at yeah. least I could do. It. That's what you're thinking. Yeah. Or oh. Uh, yeah, I, I remember you like sent me a thing for like one of those private screenings. Like the, it's like the Vimeo link, right? For the uh, yeah. And you yeah. do like these. You have like some uh, cool like uh, discovered um, yeah like, promos artifacts. and stuff like that. Like you showed me that one, Freddie. Like the hopefully that's not what's gonna. Oh be no, that's fine. No, that's the Nightmare on Elm Street one, where it's yeah. like. Doesn't it's just like uh, uh, I I can't think of his name. I don't can't, the guy who played Freddy is like it's, it's using Robert his real England, voice. but using his real voice without like the affectation that they use in, yeah. in the movies. So it's really strange. He's doing this promo for the the VHS of Dream Masters, I think, or maybe the Dream Child four or five. I should know. I'm wearing a Freddy shirt right now. <laughs> um, this is Dream Warriors, though. Dream the Warriors is one. like. Is, is the second best one, I think. Because it's more of a sequel one, to the first, first one. one. Uh, I really like the first three. I think I think number two is underloved. Really? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I, after it's that, been a long time since I've seen it. After that, my enjoyment of those movies kind of dips a lot. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, Madonna says she wants to watch these movie streams. Yeah, they're... They're kind of streams. We should stream them. We're still trying to figure out the best way to do that without like uh, triggering like content oh, uh, yeah. identification things. Because they are they're secret screenings, right? Yeah. So like we don't advertise what we're showing, and it's kind of like whatever it is, and we put like intros and stuff on them. So it's it's more it's a little bit transformative. I'm not saying that, you know we're not there's some gray areas there, <laughs> but um, right now we basically just upload everything to Vimeo and we have people like sync it up with us in the chat. So we'll, you know, be like, okay, yeah. everybody play it right that's, at That's a good way to do it though. Honestly, it's, it's a little bit yeah. more work, but it's, you know, the safest way to do it. And then you, the people that are in there are all doing it together are, you know, it's, it's clear that they're there for the experience, I guess more. Yeah. <laughs> This game's cloud cheap, cloud dude. ff7 says highly underrated docking song dream Warriors. oh yeah Correct. yeah when i was a like when i was really little uh like docking was like my, like my favorite band but i mean i can't tell you like anything else that they was is the lead singer's name don docking is that right i think is it so don i think so <laughs> i was, <laughs> Does he have a brother, Greg? Greg Dockin? No, I don't know. Do yeah, it's just... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing at his name. <laughs> About what? Donald Maynard Dockin <laughs> is an American Donald musician. Dockin. I mean, it's, it's like... Best it's... known as the lead singer and founder of glam metal band 
Dockin. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Dockin is 70 years old. Wow. Yeah. Donald, Donald Dockin, Donald yeah, Maynard. <laughs> they gotta be I mean, like like Donald Duckin. Donald Duckin, yeah. Maynard, yeah. Donald. Maynard. That's like you know, like when you when you're Donald Ducking. That's like when you're you just wearing well, a, you just wear a t-shirt well, with no Duck pants Dun on. Well, there you know, there's Donald Duck Dunn. He's the the bass player for the for the Blues Brothers. That dude's a legend. Okay. Well, I would, I'm just saying. When you're when you Donald du when you're Donald ducking, oh, and you're not like, wearing any pants. Yeah, you're just like wearing a, like a t-shirt, like yeah, preferably like a, a real like a real tight t-shirt. A, a tight like button up blue shirt <laughs> with like a with like a little yellow ribbon. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little sailor boy shirt with no. Well, I'm gonna pants drive. On. The, I'm gonna take the Porsche this time. Wait, what do you think? You think this looks pretty good? I think this game's probably five. No, look, it, it looks neat. Yeah, the last time I saw a game like this that kind of uh, caught my eye like this was what's it called? Um, oh, it's that arcade, that arcade driver from a few years ago. Oh, you know what um, I'm talking about? Uh, Horizon. Horizon. Yeah, Horizon yeah. Chase. Tur Turbo. Yeah, Horizon Chase. That's right. Horizon Chase Turbo. I think it was the console version. Oh, that's cool. The The rewind feature is neat. Yeah. So you build up like the rewind and the. You can see like the like rewind icon there next to my speed. You can go back like a certain amount. <laughs> Zane's dad makes a good point. The best part when Donald is shirtless, then he covers up his bottom half. That's true. That makes him a never nude. <laughs> 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 what? What? A never nude. You don't, you don't know what? A, there's dozens of us, Corey. Dozens. They oh, you're just like you're never. What do you, what, I don't, yeah. what do you mean? It's from a. It's for it's uh, David Cross's character oh, in the rest okay. of development was a never nude, and he always wore these like little Daisy Duke shorts like under all his clothes, and he oh. would shower in them. And <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, someone's saying, okay, so Mr. Dots has it, has it covered. Oh, uh, looks like I've, oh, I, I didn't see this one. We have a super chat from Jonathan Henson, $2. Dustin, Ooh. what are your top five Argento films? Ooh. You know, um, I'm not like a super crazy fan of Argento movies, believe it or not. Uh, so my top five is probably going to be kind of weird. I think... My favorite Argento is probably opera, honestly. Um, and then after that, mm, maybe Four Flies. And then after that, I guess I guess Suspiria. And then maybe Deep Red. And then I guess I don't care after that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't only, hate I, I don't hate you. Argento. It's not an Argento thing. It's an it's an Italian genre cinema thing. Like I I enjoy movies that I can understand what's going on and there are I think I think Italian movies are meant to be felt if that makes sense. Which there's nothing wrong with that. I mean that's totally fine. Like I, I get it. Like I, I love some of like the, like the the lighting. Uh, Jello films have amazing lighting. Typically, you know, especially like Argento movies. You know, does like crazy reds and pinks and greens and blues and all kinds. I love that stuff. Um, I do. I'll, I also enjoy like the phantasmagoria, phantasmagoric type elements, mm -hmm. um, and like. Fulci films and stuff. I yeah, like the yeah. gore. You know, I'm kind of a gore hound. Well, like, you know, I that uh that cover for for zombie, mm. you know, with like the the photograph. That's like like mm -hmm. a thing that that oh yeah, it's image, iconic. Like gave me like nightmares. <laughs> where you, like seeing that, it at the video that store image or something. I used some kind of like third party app to convert that image to. Uh, something that I could upload to Animal Crossing. So it's my <laughs> island's flag is that zombie face. Can, and can, the name of my island that, is like, Matul, like which is the island from it. that movie. Can you just like put a smiling mouth on it? Like using an app? <laughs> I wish that's I, what I want to see. I mean, I could try. I'd mess it up for sure. 
Uh, but my, my, my I called my island Matul, which is the name of the island in that movie. Oh, cool. And of course, the I mean, the best thing about that movie, everyone knows, is the shark versus zombie fight. Right, right. Uh, Madonna, she says of the Italian big three, I go Fulci, Bava, Argento. Uh, yeah, you know what? I might. I think I agree with that. But he was he the was he did he do Cannibal Holocaust? I might put Bava first, actually. Bava, Bava, Fulci, Argento. Mm. Okay, never mind. I don't know. I'm not going to comment on that anymore. <laughs> I actually don't know. What'd you say? Did he do Cannibal Holocaust, Fulci? No, no, that was Ruggiero Deodato. Oh, okay. Or Ruggiero, Ruggiero. Um, who's asking about the name of this game? Oh, uh, Retrograde is asking what the name of this game is. Oh, this is Give Me Toilet Paper. <laughs> 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 Can't you tell? <laughs> Mellow Gaming says the remake of Suspiria was way better than I expected. I liked it better than the original. That's my dirty secret. I thought it was really, really, really good. I think it's probably, um, oh, what's that filmmaker's name? Luca Guadagnino. Uh, I think it's probably his favorite, or not favorite, his best film. It's definitely my favorite of his films so far. Oh, Mellow Gaming mentioned Phenomena. Phenomena is kind of fun. It's got a good cast. <laughs> kind of fun. Jennifer Connelly. I mean, it is. It's, you know, she controls bugs. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, it's got a good cast, though. It's got uh, young Jennifer Connelly and um, uh, what's his name from Halloween? Um, detective. He was in The Great Escape. Donald Pleasance. That's it. Oh, yeah. Okay. My brain is oh, not we... wanting to work for me there. So I, I mentioned it to you. I mentioned it briefly, but uh, not like during this stream. But but you you have not seen Godzilla minus one, right? Haven't seen it yet. It's you, hard you, to get. You plan to, on? It's hard to get to the movie theater. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I absolutely. It was. It, it yeah. was so good. I keep hearing that I've heard that it might be like I've heard from some people that I trust that it might be like on par with like the original. Godzilla yes. Film. Yeah. I mean, in some ways, yeah, it, the, it, it exceeds it, I think. Yeah, that's very exciting. We're going to try the. Uh, I'm going to try the Arashi this time. Uh, I love this. The pattern on the this background. For yeah. The Let's try light mode here. Uh, but yeah, it's it is so good. And I took my son, you know, uh, I I was really nervous about taking him because uh, I like I didn't know if he was gonna be able to like he's he's a fairly good reader. Mm -hmm. But uh, I was afraid he would not be able to keep up with the subtitles. Oh, okay. Um but he did okay. No, uh, yeah, you'd mentioned he, like, that. that he, he had zero problem with it. He, That's amazing. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was really impressed, and he, you know, he was like completely. I think that it. He because of that, he felt so much more invested. Where it's just not just like people are talking, you know, like you're reading it and you're, you know, I think you're just thinking about it more, like what, what it is that people are actually saying. I watch everything with subtitles on now, just because. Sound mixes are really bad for some reason in, in movies and TV yeah. these days um, because they're they're tailored for sound systems that most people don't have. And even with a relatively nice sound system, the mix can still be kind of weird if it's not the particular, you know, um, uh, what is it? Um, coding, uh, the like PCM and stuff like that. Stream, mm -hmm. stream format. Format, that's it. It can be weird if it's not the correct format for your system. Um, so, yeah, I watch everything with subtitles now. The thing that I would be worried about with a kid and taking him to any Godzilla movie, which I've heard is less of an issue for Minus One, is that the human story tends to be kind of 
boring. Like that was my biggest issue with Shin Godzilla. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I understand it was kind of the point. It was part of the point is that just like, look how humorously dull and bureaucratic these humans are being about the insane amounts of devastation that are going on outside. It's like, yeah, I get it. But they're also kind of just boring scenes. <laughs> See, <laughs> so, I, I like the human story in that because I thought that it was just like a fascinating, like look into probably how things like that would really yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Which they, I mean, of course it's, there's satire in it. It's, it's meant to have a level of right. satire to it, but um, I've heard, I keep hearing that the, the thing that they really nail in my, not minus one is the human story, which is oh, very it's... exciting to me. Yes. Yeah. And what I like also about it is, you know, during the destruction sequence, uh, it doesn't give you like a lot of like really big shots where you just kind of see him like compared to the whole city. It mm. very much puts, puts you on the ground with people. I think like you kind of like cool. seeing it from what they are seeing. Right. And uh, it's, it's, it's cool in that way. It's like, it's different. Cause you know, a lot of times my favorite like sense of scale shots that they do in Godzilla movies is when it's, you know, you see him in the background, but it's just like people mm. running and you can see him like far off in the background. Like I just, yeah, I just think that this, it works really well for, uh, for this. Did you but watch it's that? Just, like, it's just a great movie. Um, did you watch that short film that I sent you um, that Studio Ghibli did like a decade ago with Hideaki Anno? This was long before he, I think probably he even had eyes on doing a Godzilla movie, but it's very like proto Shin Godzilla. I think it's, oh, you know, it's called like a, I did, I think a I God, it. it's like a God appears in Tokyo or something yes, like that. Yes, I did watch it. Man, that thing. I mean, like, I think it still holds up. It's like really like a fascinating sort of proof of concept for that kind of, you know, kaiju movie yeah before they were really making them that way but yeah it's it's definitely what shin godzilla ended up feeling like like in the you know the action sequences yeah uh someone's saying that this the game is breaking the stream quality is it really uh i mean yeah i can definitely see like some heavy artifacting <laughs> I, I, I can't do oh that. yeah oh yeah it's definitely That's all right. I mean, I don't know. Right? You can still kind of the the green blur in the middle is Corey. Oh, is it really that bad? Nah, it's not that bad. <laughs> so is it just the game though? You think? I'll, I'll, I can play something else. I feel like I don't. Know, I just think it's the I think it's the stream compression that's dealing with a lot of you know varied textures and colors. Probably is not just not handling it well. I mean, what I'm sending out uh, looks fine. Yeah. Well, after I finish this race, I'll play something else. It'll be maybe a little easier on it. Uh, some folks are saying it's fine. I I am streaming in 1440p, so. Man, that's a lot of sphinxes. <laughs> that's so many sphinxes. I don't think they built that many. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Godzilla was fantastic. I was really blown away, but I was, I was also, was, you know, really blown away by how good of an experience my son had. I was not expecting that's, him to like it as much. And you know, it was, that's way more important. I'm so excited about taking my daughter to the movies and showing her stuff, you know, <laughs> <sighs> she's seven months old now, so I can't quite, <laughs> we, oh, we yeah, put you on, got, you got some, Time. We put on Rankin and Bass's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer today. Oh, that's and cool. she was like really fascinated for like 10 minutes. And then she was like, no, nah, I'm done. <laughs> and started yelling. Yeah, I'll get used to that. My daughter's like super, has gotten super into K-pop in the like last. Really? Yeah. Like a, a friend of hers at school is into it too. And. I think got her in. Feels it. like these phases are moving fast. Didn't she have like a '90s rock phase for like, like, like five like minutes? She was like definitely in like '80s stuff for yeah. a while there. But yeah, she's just you know just figuring it out, I guess. Yeah. Oh no. This guy looks real scary. I'm scrolling back up to see if I missed anything. No, I didn't. I haven't heard anything. 
I can... When I beat this <laughs> race, I will... Uh... I, d I did find a funny comment. What other games can you play with the toilet roll? <laughs> <laughs> what, what other... You gotta... Dude, you gotta throw that into your next controller's video. <laughs> yes. It's definitely gonna be in the year-end video. I mean, I did beat it. Yeah. So. And did you know that you can play some games or one game with a toy with a household roll of toilet paper? The triple A prestige video game called Give Me Toilet Give me Paper. Toilet. Give me toilet paper. This guy looks like he's like out of Mad Max. Yeah. Uh what do you think you about that uh that I was just about to ask. <laughs> uh, I think it looks great. Uh, I, I put all my faith in George Miller. I think yeah, for some through. reason, I didn't realize that, like, I knew it was supposed to be a prequel, but I expected Charlie's Theron to be, like, in it. Oh, yeah, no, I had I had known that they were going to recast her. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, what I don't really understand is the timeline. I don't think anybody understands the timeline of, of Mad Max. Um, it doesn't make sense. I don't think any way you slice it, it doesn't make sense. So, I don't know. But Chris Hemsworth looks awesome in that movie as Immortan Joe. Yeah. I think that's who he's supposed to be. No, I think he's the other guy. Like, well, maybe he's... The other guy? Before he gets, like, the mask, maybe? Yeah, that's what I mean. I think he's supposed to be Immortan Joe before the mask. Huh. But I could, I mean, I could be wrong. I th but I, think, I thought that's what he was supposed to do. Yeah, it's not like, like I heard something about like, you know, Mad Max's timeline doesn't make any sense in general because uh, um, he's like considered to be a um, kind of like a mythical fi figure, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it'd be kind of interesting if they actually followed that through to its logical conclusion where it's like, yeah, Mad Max isn't just one guy. Depending on where you are in the wasteland, it could be a number of, you know, dudes just saying they are this guy, you know? Right. Kind of like that fan theory about uh, James Bond, that James Bond is also a code name. Yes. Have you heard that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you want me to play this week again? I'll, I'll try this week again. Yeah, just try it. Try it. I mean... Or should I play something else and just, like, wait till, like, the last... Well, it's up to you. I'll, I'll try it. You may not spend very much time with it. Oh, dad, 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 one, one, five, three for two dollars. Thank you. Asking a show of hands. Who got a retro tank 4K yesterday? Not it. <laughs> but you didn't. You weren't trying to get one, right? No, I wasn't trying to. No, no, no. Uh, do I need to watch? Do I need to read the how to play or should I just try it? No, no, just. Drop the fruits and smash the ones that are the same into each other, and you'll see immediately how it works. Okay, here we go. Um, yeah, but they he sold through all all of them in a. Something like 28 minutes or something. Did what now? Uh, Mike Cheese uh, sold through all. The, oh, through uh, all of the entire batch. How how many did he make for the first batch? Feels like close. It was close to 2,000. Wow. Which, when you consider that it's a uh, $750 device, like that's a that's a good chunk of change. But well deserved. I mean, I feel like the uh, device is. <laughs> Corey, drop the same fruits onto. The... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> drop know. the strawberry on the strawberry. <laughs> okay. There you go. I'm trying to get him the to... touch. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, see? Yeah, there you go. Damn it, you're making me want to play this. <laughs> what? It's a sickness. Uh, you're making me want to play this. <laughs> really? 
it's just so brainless. It's so easy to put on like some trash TV and just play this for a couple hours. There we go. Maybe more than that. I don't know how many hours I put on those things. Hope, I mean, hope. But it, but it's not like. Not. Does it does it get ever get harder? Okay, I've only, I've only put five hours on it. No, I mean it is exactly this. Okay. But like your goal is sort of, you know, the, the highest level of evolution is the Suica, it's the watermelon. Now, is that the the pink one? No, it's on the do you see the right side of the screen? Oh, it shows oh, you like, I see, okay. I see. Yeah, so the last the last thing that you can turn it into is a watermelon. So the very best you could do is to fill up the thing with watermelons, which I've only ever gotten like two watermelons at the same time. Oh wow. I mean, it does seem deceptively easy, but it also seems like uh, it could get really hard, I guess. I I'm just screwing around. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that when, when you look at the... Uh, you know, in, in buying the um, the Tank 4K, the amount of stuff that it has, like, out of the gate, you know, like, it could be the last scaler that you want or need in probably 10 years. Because uh, it's just, like, has everything. Like, the Morph it was just, like, HDMI only at first, but it will have an analog um, board coming next year. But if you just like wanted everything right now, and the, the thing is, there's a lot of people saying like, oh, you know, it's it's overpriced, and for me, like, and this is coming from somebody who like worked at a, and I'm sure you can relate, like working at like a, like a production house, like a post production mm -hmm. house. Yeah. Not even 15 years ago, a device that did. 10% of what the tank 4k does would cost 30 grand. Oh yeah. Like not even no questions asked. Like, you know, like that stuff would be that expensive for something that does like, Oh, nice. You got a pineapple. I'm getting there. And that's like, that's what I think about when, uh, when I see the price, because like something like that would be, because it's not just like for games it's like you know upscales video and like oh yeah like, i mean like you, know, you can even do like i would be really interested in um ripping like some of my harder to find vhs like i've got some pretty rare vhs that are not available like anywhere else laserdisc 2 and mm. run it through that and upscale it and then use some you know, some of the newer AI software that uh, allows you to do AI um, cleanups and upscales on things. Right. Yeah, that's that's definitely something I'm interested in. But at, I mean, at the price point, like, I don't think it's I don't think it's overpriced. I just think it's a specialty item that not everyone needs. You know, and that's just kind of how that goes. I feel like my wife would like this. I didn't, and she doesn't even like Gans, but I bet if I got it to play, <laughs> it's, she'd be like, oh. It's cute. It's cute. The music's good. Like, yeah. it's, it's it's the only song it has, but, you know, it's not like... And you could probably turn off the music if you wanted to. Yeah, it's not obtrusive. It's, yeah. But, I mean, that's just what I think about when I think about the price, because, you know, like, like these, like, Extrons, like these Extron switchers that we have, or the, the, I mean, I don't know if you have an Extron, but they just go for so cheap now, but like at the time where probably cost more than a Tink 4K cost, and that's just like a switcher. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I do not have an Extron. But I mean, like you, you, you know what they are, and they're just like, oh yeah, you know, totally. just like anything, yeah. like in a, like being used in a professional capacity would be tens of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like, you know, PVMs were thirty thousand dollars. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, your standard like you know, distro like distribution amplifier or something, which I've got you know one in my setup over here. I mean, they're they're for professional use, so right. Even though they have limited usage themselves, like they they still have a 
a premium, I guess, industry price. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Q46 wants to know if you still use your X drones in your setup. Yep. Actually, I brought out uh, my composite and S video Xtron uh, yesterday to like hook it up to some stuff. It had been in my closet for a while, and I'm like, you know, I could actually probably use this for something. And, uh, but yeah, so I used two um, cross points with the, our 8x8, and this uh, S video and composite one is 8 in and 4 out. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I definitely use all that stuff still. So. And you use a you use G, a G scar as well, right? Yeah, I have two G scars and two, two and two G and two G comps. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh it's stupid, but I never made the, the leap to scar. Never went there. I've got most of my setup behind me. Everything that can be component is component. Um, you know, stock. I don't have any like like I don't have a. RGB mod on my NES or anything, so that's composite. Right. Uh, but yeah, well, there's, and there's, S video. You know, uh, for this uh, duo episode, where like the com like comparisons to original hardware, I I have a like completely unmodded Duo RX here that it's still like. Uh, you know, just it probably needs a recap. I'm guessing, but uh, just in general, it's uh, what we're using for all of the like the like almost all the real hardware uh, comparisons. And I'm speaking of recap. Voltar's got me scared to death that my Wii U is going to die, and I need to do something. <laughs> no, <about it. laughs> yeah, I you're going to get like that that NAND. You know, I feel like. If I don't turn on my Wii U for a little while, 100%, I will turn it on and will say the gamepad will say cannot connect to the Wii U, and you got to pull out the power plug in the back and plug it back in. Really? Basically, yeah. The, I, I think I probably start up my Wii U like once a year, and I don't think I've ever had it do that. I'll, I'll come back to this. I feel like. <laughs> will you? <laughs> uh, it's a Duo RX, so I mean. I guess it probably is okay. Uh, do I just want to see what I have downloaded here? I mean, there's like a lot of stuff that I've just never booted up. What do you here. got in here that jumps out? Uh, Should I try try Celeste? I've never played Celeste. Uh, yeah, sure. It's it's fun. It's uh, a little. It's also a little Meat Boy ish. Uh, a little bit. Well, it's 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 just like a little bit. Give me toilet paper to, paper ish. It's a it's a little give me toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's no longer gonna be the genre is no longer gonna, gonna be, you know, Meat Boy esque or, you know, it's it's not a, it's not a super Meat Boy like. Say, uh, give me pa toilet paper. Man, like. could, dude, the, the chat is blowing up about Celeste. Half half of the people are like Celeste sucks. Celeste is incredible. Uh, should I play it for the first time right now? You know what? Not hard Do whatsoever. I, mean, I can hard keep on whatsoever. scrolling down. These are all the <laughs> down, like digital games I have on here. Do you have a... Um, what's that game called? Night Slashers? No, I... I it's like... Is that an archi arcade archive? Yeah. It's a Data East, I think. Oh, there's a, there's a patch for it. I mean, we got time. There's like a lot of stuff I can play. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's only 9.45. Yeah, it's like Donut Dodo or something like that. It showed up in... A code for it showed up in our email address one day. If, if you just send me a code... For like a like a downloadable game, I will always redeem the code, but I can't guarantee that I will play it. 
You guys heard it here. If you send a code during this stream, Corey will drop everything and play it. Yeah. Wait, is that is that true? <laughs> I mean, if if that's if that's what they want me to. Uh, Rears the blood. Rearsa? I don't. I'm, I'm saying it wrong. I'm sure. Does Dustin live near Dollywood? Kinda. I mean, that's relative. Uh, Dollywood's near Knoxville. It's like an hour and a half away. Dollywood is in a near a near a place called Gatlinburg, which is like. Um, actually, I think Try has talked about Gatlinburg on the the stream before. It's mm. sort of like a tourist mountain town that has like a shopping district that uh, also has like a Ripley's Believe It or Not museum and a aquarium and you know expensive restaurants and they're skiing outside town and chalets and stuff like that. I see people wearing sweatshirts that say that on there on a lot. Uh, but my, my wife went to uh, uh, Dollywood when we went down to the... Or no, no, not Dollywood. She went to... Uh, what should we call it? The, uh, oh, the uh, Opryland Hotel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there used to be a theme park around there called Opryland. Like oh, okay. A, a, a full-blown theme park with you know, rides, roller coasters, and stuff like that. Um, but they tore that down to build a mall. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a special mall. It was like a big donut. It was a circular or a, a popsicle layout mall. If you're if you're interested in all it, in mall layout, this is kind of mm -hmm. interesting. But it's a one mile loop that has like a lollipop stick on one end that goes down to the movie theater called Opry Mills and I spent a whole lot of time there in high school uh, dad 1153 uh, five dollars thank you very much you. two subtitled Japanese movies Miyazaki's latest and Godzilla minus one are number one and number three at the US box office this weekend oh, wow. was That's Godzilla minus one number one or was I guess so I don't keep track probably Miyazaki I, I was probably let's first. see let's look at um, box office mojo that's awesome though because I think Godzilla was only supposed to be on for like end last Wednesday. That's that's why they did extend it though. I heard yeah, that they did. they extended it. You see, he saw them both on IMAX. It was heavy. Oh, that's cool. awesome. I have not seen the Boy and the Heron yet. I was also on my list. Like I said, having a seven month old makes it tough to get out. To wow. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Boy and the Heron. Uh, number one at 10.4 million. God, Godzilla minus one is number three at 8.3. Wow, and that's like that's incredible. Yeah, but even still, like it's kind of that's like a low number one. Well, you know, movies ain't what they used to be. <laughs> uh, rather, the going yeah. to the movies, you know, physically putting your. But I hear like Godzilla costs like 50 million to make. Uh, the director tweeted and said that it wasn't even that much. He said that he, he keeps hearing this number thrown out, and he was like, I wish it was that much. So really? It was, it was even less than that. <laughs> Madonna was at the Opryland Hotel in October. What? When was the convention? When were we there? When were we there? Uh, is that October? No, it was, it was, it was, was it October? It must have been. It was like, it was like it right... was the weekend before Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, that's right. It was, it was the weekend before, before Halloween. Yeah, that's right. Because Danny Trejo was there and he famously turns into a pumpkin on Halloween, you know, through the rest of the year. So he was not a pumpkin yet. I did not get very far in this, although I did enjoy what I played of it. The controls are like messing with me. Is it your controller? No. 
I mean, would it help to use like a D-pad controller? I'm using a, the D-pad on like on this on the Pro controller. Oh, okay. But I don't have as much of a problem with it as a lot of people do. I mean, it's probably blasphemous, but I find myself like using the analog stick a lot, like during games that are, are definitely in D-pad games. Yeah. What was it that I played recently that I kept telling myself I was going to switch and use a a D-pad controller, and I never did? <laughs> oh, what was it? Oh, um, it was uh, I played through Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster first. Oh, wow. And the entire time I was like, I'm going to put this in the dock and bust out the uh, Switch Super Nintendo controller. And I never did. I just played <laughs> it in hand handheld mode all the way. <laughs> I wonder how this looks with the brush Uh Probably really blocky. Oh, so you cute. just you just I like the I like the little Is that character's name is Celeste, right? Or is it I don't know. It said that the name that it gave me, the character, although you could uh, change it, was Madeline. Oh, okay. Who's Celeste? Or maybe that's I have just a the I have a cousin named Celeste. <laughs> oh, her name is Madeline. Okay. The mountain is Celeste. Okay. Oh, cool. Corey, are you beach ready? I haven't been beach ready in <laughs> five years at least. I wish I, wish I could say that I was. Pete Malone says, "Bust out the tank and scan line this game." Um, I mean, I, I could, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with it. Is it Pete Malone or P Pete Malonia, <laughs> with a little bit of a nya? Uh, you know, a lot of like, like the scan lining aspect of a lot of stuff. Like, like Try got really, really into it, and uh, like I think it's cool, but. The chances of me like using it super often are not very high. I just yeah, feel like it I takes mean, like a lot of work to uh, to get get that result. I guess. I just I, as good as fake scan lines have gotten, I still don't see myself ever using them. Like if if it's a side effect of playing on a CRT, that's one thing. But like I'm not gonna go out of my way to pretend like I'm playing on a CRT. <laughs> Yeah, I, I get that. Um, I, how come sometimes I can dash a second time? Ooh. I think the I think physics got you on that one. Yeah, I think, yep, yeah, it's... I see. That inertia. Oh, you can only hold on for a certain amount of time, I think. Yeah. This, okay. The strawberries are entirely optional. All they get you is the satisfaction of having collected them. <laughs> That's fun. I don't, oh, so I don't even need to do this. Or is this like a... Oh, uh, it's not the direction I even have to go, I guess. No, I guess not, yeah. Yeah, the sign says... Oof. Getting crushed. It is a cute game. I think it, I think it does look good. Yeah. I mean, it... it 
I felt like this was kind of the hotness for a while. Oh, like, yeah. There, yeah. There was a minute where people were just like, oh, man, Celeste. And I, for the longest time, I thought it was a different kind of game than it was. I thought it was like maybe a like a Metroidvania or something and not like a skill platformer. Yeah. But um, and I, I finally started it, playing it, I was like, oh, this is maybe not what I want right now. So I have not come back yeah. to it. Although I have been in the mood for a good Metroidvania, and the one that I've, I've been circling the most is that um, Deedlet game. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. A Record of Lotus War. Mm -hmm. I've got that physical for PS5, and I haven't fired it up yet, but I think that's the one I'm going to go with when I finally do make some time for it. I do like that, how it... Sends you flying. Yeah, that's. It goes up like that. It's the kind of thing that's satisfying when you get the hang of using it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Pete Malone says this made by Meat Boy people. I don't know if it's made, but, but I don't think it is, but that, that's what I described it as before Corey fired it up. I was like, it's kind of Meat Boy-ish. Yeah, it's from that same. It's both meaty and boyish. <laughs> I cut from that same cloth, I guess. Uh, Robin R says Deedlet is awesome and it doesn't wear out. It's welcome. In fact, you'll end up wanting more. That is exactly what I would I want to hear. They made that uh, another. As game much as I want to play a Metroidvania, I don't really want to play a twenty plus hour game right now. So if it's like eleven to fifteen hours, that's going to be mm, it's going to be so nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Some I mean, hours. I could handle it if it's twenty hours. That, that's fine. But. See what else I got on here. <laughs> Chris Waters said, "Yo, Francis Ford Coppola knew I'd be watching The Godfather in VHS from not, from he says 1885, but 1985 to 1998. So he purposely made uh, everything only look good blurry. Yeah, the Blu-ray in 4K <laughs> doesn't do any favors for that makeup. <laughs> oh, really?" Yeah, it looks real waxy. Is that like is that like a new The 4K release? yeah, just came out. When did it come out? It wasn't that long ago. I have not picked it up yet, but it's it's on my list. Oh, um, here's another one that showed up in the email that I It's kind of like a I feel like it was May in the year. in the Flame Dragon's Fist. It it oh, looks kind of like a Master System game. Yeah, the 4K came out in uh, March of last year, 2022. I do love 4K discs, though. Like, some people, I mean, I, I can, I respect people who are like, I can't really see the, the difference. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't always see the difference, but when I can see the difference, it's kind of mind blowing. Like the, uh, the Jaws 4K immediately comes to mind. That's probably the the best looking 4k that i own i think like as far as like upgrade from the blu-ray is concerned and it's like to me it's like i feel like it's as close as i'll ever get to like owning a print you know what i mean like a film yeah. print of of some of my favorite movies so 4k is sort of reserved for like my fav favorites of of my favorites um since my movie collection is already kind of out of hand <laughs> i cannot upgrade everything Okay, so this this game is kind of like uh, uh, like vigilante. Is, what is this? Is this Rama one half? No, no it's, it's called Zhao Mei and the uh, and the Flame Dragon Fist or something like that. Oh, okay. It's definitely got Rama vibes. Yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, it's definitely taken after like Vigilante and like uh, like Black Belt and uh, Kung Fu, I guess. Mm -hmm. Kung Fu or uh, Spartan X, if you'd rather. Oh yeah. Yeah, it seems pretty cool. But this is like something that showed up in the uh, in the email, and like I will, I will, I'll, re I'll redeem those codes. And chances are, like I'm gonna not there's play no, it right away, but there's no space between the number and the word hits. So every time you get a five-hit combo, it looks like it says shits. <laughs> <laughs> There, yep. Get a five hit combo. Like, whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. On Wednesday, like, the Abyss was, like, in the, that new 4K transfer. Yep. It was, like, in the, in the theater. New 4Ks when... of that and True Lies we're also getting. Um, yeah. And I bet that'll get a limited theatrical release, too. Oh, and Aliens too. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I. I mean, I. Would, it'd be cool if Aliens got another the theatrical release. Yeah. Although I thought Aliens already had a 4K. It did, but I think that. It's. Oh, I don't know new. if it had a 4K. I think it had a. Uh, no, it did. No, it look. Oh yeah, it did have a Blu-ray. I have the. Yeah, the quadrilogy. The quadrilogy. Which, I mean, it's not even the correct name anymore. I guess. It's a word. It, it, oh, did they change it to what tet tetralogy? Well, it's gotta be, unless you you count Prometheus as like being. Um, I don't know. I try not to think about Prometheus. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to be so spicy. <laughs> Look at this weird thing you're fighting. Yeah, who knows? The scaling is really uneven in this game. I can't. I could probably fix this with the thing. But... It does look like Charlie Brown. Chris has, says evil Charlie Brown. It does. How do I? Jamie J asks if uh, I have thoughts on Alien 3, speaking of spicy talk. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> did I you like it from the first time you saw it? Yes, I did. And ah. I was ashamed for many years and couldn't talk about it because people were like, oh, it's so stupid. And now it's good. It's good, and I'm tired of pretending like it's not. <laughs> and you know what? So is Resurrection. Sorry. Yeah, the I think four, I... The first four are good. I will, and I don't. I don't care mind about, resurrection. It's it's. it's I don't care about anything after that. <laughs> I didn't like Prometheus, and I didn't like Covenant. Um, yeah, that's, but I am I am a okay with the first four alien movies. Um, I mean, like when it comes to like Alien Three, uh, it was it was definitely a letdown for me uh, in the theater because mm -hmm. it, it just. I was just so annoyed that they just like kill off. Yeah, the newt stuff. It's yeah, like it does kind of. It is a. Uh, it's a gut punch, right? Especially coming off off of the second one. Yeah. It's kind of a bummer. Bummer of a way to start that movie, but like it is. That's that's kind of ties right into the themes of the movie. I feel. Anyway, it's. I do like. I think even bad David Fincher movies are good movies. <laughs> Speaking of which, I, I watched The Killer the other night, which I think is really good and pretty funny. Um, and I, I don't know if everyone will agree about the second part, but I thought it was kind of, kind of hilarious. <laughs> Michael Fassbender is... like I think he's kind of the perfect actor to play that kind of role where it's like, yes, he's a handsome athletic capable looking man who also can just put off the best kind of like dork energy he does it in inglorious bastards really oh, really yeah, well and yeah. I think that, that 
Um, yeah, I just watched that scene recently I, again, like the the scene in like in the bar in the basement bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. Um, he's like he's in that new that soccer soccer movie that just came out, and I feel like he looks like so bizarre with a beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He does. It's just like this you know, blonde right. beard. It just like does not look. It looks like it's uh, like glued to his face. Um, there was we a... got a two dollar super chat from Seabass Nap. Oh, it says I hate Columbus and so do you. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it's soccer talk, I guess. Uh, I was uh, like, yes, Cincinnati, Christopher FC Columbus Cincinnati. was a monster. Absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> Mega X6 uh, donated $5 with no chat. Thank oh. you, Mega X6. Mega X6, always busting out Silent the, uh, generosity. Yes, every, every every week without without fail. Uh, but yeah, um, FC Cincinnati lost to the, the Columbus crew, wow. which is like the... They, Cincinnati, like they were like the uh, like number one team in the MLS uh, this year. So it was uh, it's a little disappointing, but whatever. It's all right. It happens. All right, are we, are we done? We, am I done with this one? Yeah. Not not a, not a bad little game. No, it looked neat. Is Elaine Galone still alive? Oh, sorry. My brain went to a... Chris Waters uh, said, check out Le, Le Samurai. Le Samurai? Uh, way better than The Killer. See, what Way I... better? It's way different, I think. I mean... Let's try Donut. donut. I, I see what I never, you're I never I played it. Saying. I feel like... When I thought... When they first announced that that was coming out, when they released that first trailer, I thought it was going to be like a... A remake of the John Woo movie. Oh, yeah. No, that's a great movie, though. Yeah. That's my ass. Like... There's multiple different. You can have CRT mode burned. Discreet. Burned? So, what is burned? Try, try donut, this. donut. <laughs> yeah, I, it's just like another. Do, it had the, the kana underneath it. Donatsu dodo. <laughs> Is that what it is? Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one, that one. Oh, is this Popeye? Wait, no. This music is real intense. I, I, I do appreciate his animation. He pooping fireballs? <laughs> yes. That must hurt. And th there's a toilet right there, too. No wonder they went extinct. <laughs> we got a theme on tonight's Oh, come stream. on. I was getting psyched out. Yeah, we just got... We've got, we do have a thing, I guess. <laughs> Didn't you say that there was a... No, it was Roblox. That's what it was. Space. You had said something about, like, Monty playing a skibbity toilet game. Oh, there's, like, a billion of different games. There's a billion different skibbity toilet games on there. Like, multiple chapters. Can you... Ex okay, so I I don't really get... Can you explain to me what Roblox is and wh yeah, why it's, it's not uh, dangerous? Because <laughs> it seems kind of dangerous. Like every time someone tries to explain like what you can do on there or what it's for, and just like it seems kind of like the Wild West. Like I don't really. That's. I mean, that's a good way to describe it. Being the Wild West because it's just uh, 
they give you, like, they give people, like, a free game development kit, and people just, like, make games from them. And then they, they can have DLC, and, you know, you can, uh, uh, buy points to buy, like, additional items. You do, like, it's just all this stuff that... Is it, like, rife with IP theft? Like, that, Oh my gosh, yeah. Right? Okay. Yes. Yeah, it is, uh... I think that it's probably not as bad as it used to be, but you just go in because you just go in before and they just be playing like songs, like real songs, like the, the background music for everything. So like it, people, like you can play different kinds of games, or is it all the same engine? Like, it's all the is, same engine, but there's all the games are like built by people by the user. That makes me feel like, like, is there, okay, so is there, like, what is the Roblox magnum opus? Like, is there one game that's just, like, somebody made this game and it's one of the greatest games ever made, but it's only on Roblox? Like, it, does that game no. exist within that? No, definitely not. That space yet? Because <laughs> I feel like... No, no, because everything is so generic and they're just, like, rip-offs of, like, other games. I used to always joke and say, uh, you know, like, why would my son want to play any of these games that I have down here, any of these different games, when you can play one game that has every game in it. Hmm. And okay. that's kind of what it... But it's not really every game. Like, it's not... I mean, basically, right? there's... It's just, like, really crummy versions of every game. Demo Kirby uh, just donated $2 and said, Roblox is monetized PC modding. Best way to yeah, that's that's a good way. To, it's it's hard to describe, but yes. Thank you for the two dollars. That's awesome. Love it. Monetized PC modding, so like modding games, and selling the mods to microtransactions. How you got those ladders? I feel like you, st you stick to the ladder. Donuts, <laughs> dodo. You do a real good job of like doing that. Uh... Donuts, donuts, that's <laughs> Like, like making that that. I don't want to say like stereotypical <laughs> voice. Is that? Well, it's I not mean, like a stereotypical voice, but I mean. I mean, you can call it what it is. <laughs> I mean, it's it sounds like. Uh... It is how I speak Japanese, though, and like you know, when I was over there, people were like, "Wow, your your pronunciation is really good," and I'm just like. Things. You try to sound like I, you're. I'm a uh, little like I feel a little a little bit of shame for it. Like somebody doing voiceover for you know like trailers or something. <laughs> yeah. Right. Ah, uh, let's see here. You want to see this this samurai showed on Neo Geo collection? Did I ever tell you? Like I. I haven't seen that. I yet, edited no. the behind the scenes interviews in this. Oh, I didn't know that. You did or you you did or didn't? I didn't. I did not know that. No. I mean, I was just given these interviews uh, to uh, to cut up. But let me see. I think there's one where I had to like shoot a couple of B rolls, and it's like very clearly like in our style. Let me see if I can find it. And it's like in the the M leg style, I guess, with like a slider, and it's like I think it's. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Little gaming says I'm I'm hooked on Suica Suica game now. Yeah <laughs> It has infected your soul <laughs> Just like it did to me. I'll probably play it tonight after the stream. Um so there's interviews So you, edit, you didn't shoot these, you edited them? Right. Yeah, they were shot, and the interviews were done by um, by Brandon Sheffield. Oh. Of, uh, of, of Insert Credit in uh, Necrosoft Games. 
That uh, that demon school game that they're working on looks great. Um, yeah, see, I did I did these. Um, <laughs> uh, nice titles, bro. Well, I, I didn't do the I, I did the titles in there, yeah, but I didn't I didn't do the subtitles. Oh, this oh that's cool. All right. You should have put a little like fake arterial spray coming out of his neck. <laughs> <laughs> After the slash. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I, I don't know if that would be like you gotta you gotta lose that, or if it's like if it's or if they'd be like, oh, that's so cool. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> See, like I, I shot that. It's like obviously, you know, like I shot. Yeah. The gameplay is like all off <laughs> TVM and stuff. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, is what I, is. Good night. Thank you for joining us. Uh, remember that your job isn't worth dying for. That's, that's what, what? It says, what? It's, it's the truth. Is what is. Just said good night and just dropped a pearl of wisdom on us. <laughs> Job's not worth dying for. Absolutely true. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to, do what you want. <laughs> I just want to see if I can go forward and find the. Uh, Oh no! Hold what? on. Okay, so oh, Cade the squirrel, Cade the squirrel, uh, donated two pounds. Pour one out for the forgotten Streamlabs donos. <laughs> uh, can you pull up the Streamlabs donations? Yeah, yeah, that... yeah, yeah. Uh, um, because I can't see that. Yeah, I, let me see. I, I have them here. I didn't see. Uh, I didn't see any of the Streamlabs ones. I... Oh, 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 Cade the squirrel. Sorry about that. An hour ago. Sorry about that. I, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Kid Scroll an hour ago asked, uh, What's poppin', gamer? Sorry I've been MIA so long. I kept forgetting to hop on uh, stream and uh, cause some chaos. You've seen the, the Sonic Drift remake by fans. It's a Super Mario Kart style remake for PC. Uh, pretty freaking cool. So I have not. I have not. I even know that was a thing. I'm really sorry. I should have. I need to like make it a little bit bigger here, so that it jumps out more at me. Was sorry that the only that, one? But I have not seen it. it. But thank you. Thank you, and I, I'm I'm sorry that it took so long. Uh, I think that that's the only one. Though. Okay. I got one from. Is it Bubba D Matt eight twelve or? Bub bad Matt. Uh, I think it's, we we call it Bubba D. Bubba D. So I did something crazy. I started a position on Change website to get LGR on Hot Ones. Clint said oh, he'd do it if it happened. <laughs> oh, that would be great. <laughs> that would be amazing. Yeah. I don't see why not. Like why like why they wouldn't have him on there. I mean, <laughs> I I would love a, to see him. Celebrity. I would love to hear him drop his uh his uh Duke impression in the middle of that. Oh show. yeah. These wings are gonna burn my butthole. <laughs> um, let's see if we can. I really wanted to find. Let's see here. Maybe it's a walking tour where I. Oh, that's pretty sharp. Yeah. I had to blur the license plates in this one. I'll, I'll sign that petition. Yeah, let's see. I'll definitely sign it. <laughs> if you drop a link, uh, we can. I don't know if links are allowed, but we oh, can. Did, oh, did he do the one chip? Uh, looks like someone. Someone suggested he did, yeah. Um, let's see here. So if you get to. Well, if we can get all 292 people watching right now, 290 <laughs> people watching. That's a, that's a drop in the bucket to the us. millions of views they get on that show. But, I mean, you know, stranger yeah. things have happened. I was hoping I would be able to speed this up a little bit. I could, I could see my name in it. 
I have like a little. Well, the the creative director was Chris Dushmit. Yeah. I just uh, wanted to say Dushmit. But it's a good collection. If you if you like Samurai Showdown, it's good. You see that they uh, announced their, their next. Um, I've enjoyed it. Uh, Gold Master series is going to be the. Oh okay. Like all the Jeff Minter games, and it's like. Uh, like 40 some games on there, I think. Do you know if Karateka is getting a oh. physical? There I, there I am. Yeah, yeah, oh. through Limited Run. Oh, okay, alright. It's neat. It's, it's like neat bounce. That's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Did you ever imagine when you were a kid that your name would be in a video game, like credits on multiple no. games? <laughs> no. No, it's it's it's, it's still amazing. It's wild, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I think yeah. next week, um, it might be like a dual stream. Like, like try and I will both be playing a game next week. Uh, oh, that'd be cool. If uh, Scott Snyder's still here, he sent a little. He sent us a game to our PO box, and it is uh, it's this game. I've never heard of it. It's called uh, "You Suck at Parking," <laughs> uh, and it's it's the complete edition. <laughs> so I think that we'll both play that next week. Holy cow! So he's. I think Kiki wants to make it. Oh, you're... Uh-oh. I also have an animal that looks like it was designed by the Jim Henson company. <laughs> like you. <laughs> it's Kiki. He's <laughs> Kiki. <laughs> She's unhappy. <laughs> you know, last week, I had uh, that video of, uh, of Nelly playing before not the one that was shown tonight but another one and mm. someone in the, in the chat was like how come people don't have real dogs anymore <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't know let me tell you i have a real dog quote unquote and he gets on my nerves <laughs> I, I love my dog but he he has a lot of husky in him and he's very stubborn and he does just whatever he wants Uh, the English patch of what was released? Sorry, I didn't. I, mm. uh, Shadow Mass Sand. Uh, SSRPG on NGCD. Oh, oh. Um, uh, Samurai Showdown RPG? Yes. On Neo Geo CD. Yep. I'll have to. That's cool. Have to grab that. What did you fire up? Uh, so, this is the uh, Luna Knights, the to uh, uh, is it to Toho. Toho? Toho, yeah, yeah, Toho. So this is the same people that made uh, made that Deedlet game. I think they made this before. I tried it. Oh, okay. Yes, Jamie J. Huskies are terrible and wonderful. Mine is my dog is a mutt, and he's got a lot of husky, and he's got a lot of golden retriever. So he's like equally parts like dumb and sweet and also stubborn <laughs> and loud and he lays around all day but then also when he goes outside he's like look how fast i can run dad and i'm like great it's so cool <laughs> for you i think it just it has a physical edition coming out wow this looks cool yeah wow But yeah, Indy right. Sweet. His name is Indy. Well, Indiana. Which we named the dog Indiana. <laughs> as, as one does. I don't really know anything about this, like, the Toho, Tuho, Tuhu stuff. I Toho? think, is it like a, mm. like a, it's not an anime, is it? It's like a... To Toho animation? Toho is an anime. Yeah, like, uh, like, like Tuho, like, to like, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Toho is a is a film studio. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Godzilla. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, is that what they're? Is it the same thing? Is that what this is supposed to be? Um. What, what no, is the name it's of the like studio? T O U H O U. Well, that would be how you like. I guess Toho actually romanizes their name with like the O with the long the line over the O. But like if you didn't use the line it would be T O U T O U. T O U H O U Toho. What'd you say the name of this game was? I'm gonna look it up. Luna, Luna, Luna Knights. It's the people but it's the same people that made uh the the Lit game. Yeah, this is Oh, there, there's a Dustin in chat whose cat is also named Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian Reno says it's Toho, not Toho. Okay. But, okay. Toho. but is it Toho. is it an there's, anime there is a or is it like is it something outside of games? I know that there's like a lot of them. Or maybe there is. Project Toho Project Fan Game Developed by Team Ready Bunch of Gumshoeing Gum shoe for you. But it's a good looking game. Yeah, that is. It looks really cool. I like that she throws knives. I don't think this has anything to do with the Toho. It's, it's called Luna stuff. Knights. It's it's yeah. it's a cool looking game. Like a, oh, it's it's animated really nicely too. She gets out of that that mech. Bubba D Matt eight twelve is also a Dustin. That's what the D is for. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I feel so I feel so close to the chat tonight. Oh, okay, Chris V said Toho Project is a series of indie shooting games by a solo creator going back to the PC ninety eight. So oh wow! That's, so is this that's all like in the same? Are they all connected in some way? Then I take maybe so. Because I I feel like these characters are talking to each other as if I'm supposed to like know that they know each other. Incredibly large and passionate fan base in Japan that makes their own games like this one. Music, remixes, comics, comics, etc. Thank you, Chris V. Dropping the knowledge. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. All right. All Dustins in the chat rise up. <laughs> rise. Rise up. Arise. Arise, Dustins. Arise. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Look at you. I can, I can stop time. And I can throw all kinds, of, all kinds of knives. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, cool. Can you go to the top side? Oh, okay. All right. I don't like that you're killing kitty cats. <laughs> that gives me pause. Get it? <laughs> is, is have you used that one before? No. <laughs> I'm disappointed by these tanuki. I need more scrotum. <laughs> <laughs> what are they even doing? So can I stop? I a, that's, a, that's a kappa with a little Cobra Commander helmet on. <laughs> <It looks> like... <laughs> Look at that, I can... This is cool. Yes, that's correct, Brian. Toho Film Studio is pronounced the same. Toho. I mean, have you even been, have you even been to the theater <laughs> since you had uh, Yes, we went to see Oppenheimer in 70 millimeter. Oh, okay. Pl planned an entire weekend around it because it was a you know Dude, look at that. limited thing. Actually, we had to go to uh, this is the second time I brought up Opry Mills, the mall. 
Um, but we had to go to Opry Mills in Nashville, which is a little bit of a drive. It's like two and a half hours for us, something like that from Chattanooga. Um, but both of our families live up there. So we kind of organized a date day where mm-hmm. we went to see Oppenheimer and went out to eat and my parents took care of the baby. And uh, yeah, it was great. Um, cool story behind that is that uh, the 70 millimeter projector at the uh, Opry Mills IMAX in Nashville uh, had been broken for some amount of time. And uh, I, I heard, I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but I had heard that Christopher Nolan paid out of his personal money, out of his own pocket, to get the projector fixed so that Opry Mills could be, so that Nashville could be one of the cities that. Uh, oh, that's cool. That showed Oppenheimer in 70 millimeter. And man, it was. It was awesome. Like, I'm not a Nolanite guy. Like, I don't, I, I, I think I've, I've liked like maybe 50% of the stuff that's, if I'm honest, um, maybe 60%. Um, but yeah, Oppenheimer, I think is a really special film. And seeing it that way, I think really sold like the, you know, um, not just, I mean, the impact of the events, but you know, also like, how personal that story is and like all of the extreme close-ups like on that massive s- screen like you can see every pore in Killian <laughs> Killian Murphy's face yeah uh and it's a it's a not that it will compare I guess but it is on video now yeah, I, uh like, yeah weren't they having like some uh, yeah. shortage of like 4k blu-rays or something of it yeah apparently uh yeah uh, brick and mortar stores are having um problems keeping it in stock it's selling so well on 4k which is kind of kind of nuts yeah this is- uh, brian it was it was 70 millimeter Which is the only thing I've seen in 70 millimeter that I know of. Unless, of course, I saw something in 70 mil before the great digital, you know, takeover, and just took it for granted back then. I was a younger idiot than I am now. I'm still an idiot, but a younger <laughs> idiot. When it was okay to be. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever okay, but you know. Uh, yeah. But it was cool. Um, don't get to see movies on film very much. That was one of the things I did want to do when I went out to LA and just didn't get a chance to was to go out to the New Beverly Cinema, which is Quentin Tarantino's theater, and, and see something. And the night that I was going to go, the one night that I had off, uh, they were showing a double feature of The Thing and the Blob remake from 88. Oh, man. Which, which would have been incredible, but by the time we got, like, we did did some stuff in Hollywood and Los Angeles that day. Yeah. And then we went out to our hotel, which was like out at the airport. And, you know, by the time we got out there, I was like, man, I'd have to drive all the way back to Hollywood, like during rush hour to get to the theater in time for the, I think it was like a six thirty show or something like that. I'm like, yep. I don't think I'm doing this. So. I got the sliding knife. Finally. Now so I, I did. slide. Maybe next time. There's just too many cool things to do with too little time. Game Master Cypher asks, I think this is right. Master Cypher asked if Best Buy is stopping the sale of physical movies next year. I think I heard that. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I don't know if it's every Best, Best Buy, and I don't know how the rollout will happen. I don't know if it'll just be like overnight and it'll disappear, but yeah, that's as I understand it. Yeah. The writing's on the wall. I mean, unless you're a boutique label. Boutique labels still do very well. So we'll still get our weird porno from vinegar syndrome (laughs) (laughs) i mean unfortunately that's just like the way things are i guess and it sucks because you know like like these places can't take these risks and then everyone gets mad like oh why can't you just like put this stuff out there or like i couldn't get it or something it's just like i don't like there's just no way to Things are just not what they used to be, so you can't like make a profit and make enough. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. 
That's just like everything. Like. Let's see. We got two dollars from Demo Kirby. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Toho Bad Apple demo on Genesis ED is amazing. I don't. I don't know that I understand that sentence entirely, but do, maybe uh, you do. Uh, uh, probably on the Genesis EverDrive. Oh, okay. I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Toho Bad Apple demo. I guess Bad Apple is the name of the game. Ooh, okay. The animation. I take it, it's probably really a shooter. It's one of the. Is it? Is it one of the shooters? The Toho shooters that was mentioned before. Probably. Madonna, Madonna made a suika. Omedetto gozaimasu. Yeah, how you, how you say it. Well, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, that's congratulations. Okay, Cloak and Dagger from Vinegar Syndrome. Great pick. Cloak and Dagger's awesome. Dabney Coleman. Oh, yeah. Dude, that movie is, like, I when I watched it in recent years, it kind of amazed me how, like, violent it is towards kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, they, like... They are, they're gonna kill him. Yeah. You know? That was that was an that was pre giving an F. Yeah. <laughs> like they are there's I mean there's a lot of like creepy stuff in it, like like kidnapping, like the Bubba like, D going to bed. Good night, fellow Dustin. Sweet Good dreams. night, take care. Uh but I was just sort of amazed at how uh like, like straight up, like how straight up, like mean it is to kids. I guess. Yeah, it's been a minute since. When was the last time I watched it? And and like, there's that one dude, like, like the one programmer guy that like owns yeah. the game store. Like, like they shoot him through the eye, through the eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this was a kids movie. It's like you know, it, it was it was kind of shocking to me. Like upon revisiting it. Suica is a watermelon. It is. That is what it is. is. Did somebody say that a Suica was not a watermelon? Suica is also a, a rechargeable uh, money card that you use on trains. <laughs> that has a little penguin, a cute little penguin for its mascot. Or it, at least it did eight years ago when I lived there. Okay, one more game, and then I'm gonna like I'm tonight. I'm gonna end at like the normal eleven, like. At Eleven o'clock because I gotta go and help try with the uh, finishing up that. Yeah, episode. you guys are on a sort of a tight schedule on that one. Yeah, because I, I I wonder I don't know if the embargo lifts at like midnight tonight or if it lifts like in the morning. Are you trying to get it dropped tonight at midnight? If that's when the embargo is. Oh, it's not dropping at midnight. There's this. Okay. Just, that's, <laughs> if the embargo goes up, lifts at midnight. Like there's just it's not happening. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably going to be in the morning. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'll just, I'll just, I guess I'll just try to play. Sweet some, game. Here we go. Yeah, let's see how far play, you can get. Like, do you want to finish out with just like playing this a little bit? Yeah. I could try Speed Crew. It's another. That's another game that showed up in the email that I never played. Speed Crew. I'll do this. Uh, no, by the end of the week. No, no, it's like it's gonna I'm be out tomorrow. This chat, uh, the I'm video is gonna be out tomorrow. Even though it has a has a, n n a a dirty word in it. Is Corey gonna end the stream by saying, "I'm going to take a shit"? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should. <laughs> yeah. Try's not here. It's no, a... <laughs> dude, it's like I, we we talked about this on the podcast, right? Uh, because it it started out. We were talking about like the neighbors and like my neighbor, uh, like like it was like a year ago or something. Is this guy? He he looks kind of like Char Char Charles Martinet, I think. Oh, okay. He just like lives across the street, and uh, he was talking to this guy that was there like working on his lawn. You know, like I don't know like what he was doing on his lawn, but he was there all day. But he was just like hanging out in the. Uh, uh, like you just hang out talking to him right and like he was the one talking to the guy doing the uh, working on the lawn and then 
when he's like done talking to him, he's like, all right, I'm gonna go take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just, he just tells this guy, like who obviously like, like does not need to like this oh my God. care <laughs> or need this information, but he's just all like, right. he just says, I'm, this, I'm gonna. That's one way to be like, well, I'm done here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But like, I just move like in, the I'm idea of like, <laughs> if at the end of every stream like that's how or that's how we ended like every episode <laughs> like your sign off <laughs> yeah it's just like <laughs> which i mean <laughs> if 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 oh nobody God, does that so already should be, should that, should that should be like you imagine if like that's like how we ended every like we don't even like didn't even like make a d big deal about it. Like, what if we just like started doing it? Like, like <laughs> nothing else ch changed. I think you might get some. You might actually get some complaints from people. It's like this really took me by surprise. <laughs> I, I, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure, and like it disappointed that, me deeply. That would that I would understand. Yeah, I mean, totally. Like you've been doing this for ten years now, and it's <laughs> just, but. And your content has been like straight as an arrow, like information packed, no, like it's fair. I mean, you're biz, all about the business, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it would be, that would be really funny, I think. But it'd be it's funny just... if like a, of a, like a news reporter, if that was their sign off. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Ted Tedson for Channel 5 News, and I'm going to take a shit. Back to you. <laughs> Which sounds really funny i mean i i feel like yeah it's kind of amazing that it hasn't been done before <laughs> maybe there's somebody that does that i don't know That's pretty good. so my best score is 15, 15 70 but i don't even know how to play then i can understand how this would be uh pretty addictive though i mean yeah sometimes you'll accidentally like bump a bunch of things into each other that you know end up combining and you're like whoa i just cleared so much space yeah this could be my best run yeah it's that kind of thing and it, it's just like the physics of it that's like makes things like constantly kind of moving yeah someone in the chat said that they lost a round because they somehow launched an apple out of the jar and yeah like there's there are the physics in the game every time you something combines together there's like a very small like I guess sort of like a uh, um, a knockback to everything around it. Yeah. And if it hits stuff just right, it can definitely fling things all the way up out of the box. That's wild. Oh. But you can use that to kind of build up some stuff. You need to push it into something, right? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, like that. You can use that. Like that's why I'm gonna. That's why I'm gonna oh, See? Oh, 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 get those together. Oh. Is what I get. Oh no! I you still would, got a I got a melon and then a. You get a melon, yeah. You get a melon next. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Dang, dude, not bad. <laughs> Jeff O says I like to comment at the end of y'all's streams. That'll do, Emlig. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> That's pretty good. Well, I hope everyone likes the, the duo video. Uh, it's like kind of our quickest turnaround in like anything in a long time. But it's, it's it is funny that you know that like when that video is out, we will have released three videos in like like a week and a half. It's awesome. Which is almost as many videos as we've released the entire year. It's awesome. Consider it is. the yeah, ho I mean, holiday it, holiday gift. Yeah, and you still got the end of year video coming at some point. And and like so, I mean, I'm hoping that my tour video is going to be out this year too. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you got you you backloaded the year. I mean, if we if if we're able to do that, if I'm able to get that uh, tour video out, also, like that would be kind of amazing. But I, I need to finish all of uh, what I have for the. You, the uh, you've shown me you've shown me bits of the tour video, and 
it's great and it is turned into something of a beast <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so, well, yeah i did that um took on a mind of its own so to speak yeah but also like it got sidetracked with other stuff and what's funny is that things have been kind of like tweaked around since that that i might have to go back and and fix certain things uh just because of the timing of it so even the people that have seen that that preview will have something new. Come on. Do you have do you have a timeline on when you think the 2023 video will be out? Oh, I mean that's that's always out on New Year's Eve. Oh, okay. I'm actually going to I'm going to finish my parts for that first before I get into the tour video. Then I can just like spend the rest of the time working on a tour video. And if if I don't make it in time, then I'm going to uh, like it'll be like the first video like early in in the, in the year what I really want to do is that week between Christmas and New Year's I just kind of want to take it off completely so I'm trying to get ahead on everything yeah because I have like I haven't had like a like a time off like that during that week where I'm just like not worried about something else yeah. in so long and you don't have to worry about work work because our our job really slows down in this season. Yeah, for like the entire month of December, really. I mean, we're kind of there, right? Yeah. Like, I finished up those events in California, and uh, they're wrapping up the rest of those, or they just wrapped up the last of them this weekend. So, yeah, other than some graphic stuff, I think we're pretty much, we're pretty much on vacation. Yeah. So I definitely want to take that opportunity to get as, as far ahead as I can on certain things or just I just want to be able to take that time off come on I'm getting, come on oh, oh, oh. get in there get in there that so if you if you combine the orange it'll immediately combine with one of those apples not that orange <laughs> the one on the left but it's so close oh no oh no <laughs> oh oh oh, oh. <laughs> And I still didn't oh, even get the same little, high score as I got before. That, man, that's amazing. How did that not happen? How did you not get... Okay, I don't understand. The games we played in 2023 uh, will be out on um, New Year's Eve, like always. Like We we won't miss that because that is... Uh, what? Madonna, she's high score tonight is 2711? Uh, did she just get it, too? I think so. That's my whole time. She's a natural. I'm going to be upset. Mine's 2796. How in the hell, Madonna Sheehy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bad at video games. I, ex I actually came to accept this about 10 years ago. I've played video games my whole life, and I'm just bad at them. <laughs> I feel as though I'm a lot better than I used to be. The, doing these streams every week and just like doing the channel, I feel as though I've gotten so much better at games yeah. than I used to be. Madonna says she's a Suica savant. Well, congratulations. It's marvelous. <laughs> Not bitter at all. Like, tune in for the, uh, I need to toilet paper and, and stay for the Suica game. Uh, Udameshi says that there are so many versions of this on the app store on, on uh, phones. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. The... How many how many how many people bought this tonight? <laughs> Madonna did. I Anybody did. else? You did. <laughs> how many people bought I I need oh yeah, how, yeah. How many people bought I am toilet paper? If you bought Suica game and or I give me toilet paper, I want to say I need toilet paper because <laughs> I don't say give me toilet paper to my wife when I need it. I <laughs> say too. I need. Toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just like that translation, right? Yeah. G give me, give me toilet paper. Well, at first you said. <laughs> You called it I, I am say? toilet paper. Did I? 
But that's what the first I... level is called. I am toilet paper. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am toilet paper. Oh, Crispy had both already, which now sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> Way ahead of the game. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, them peaches. <laughs> Sorry, I got weird. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's it's real satisfying when it just like slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna squeeze that cherry. <laughs> by the peach. When, when like when it squeezes through, it's like oh get in there. Oh there you go. <laughs> right. And it's then like, all these other things pop. Yeah, it's really good. It's so just fun. you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. It's cinematic, as Jean-Luc Godard said. It is tension and release. It also helps that, like, you know, the face on the fruit just, like, make them look so friendly. They're so cute. I think you can buy the stuffed animals now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Here it is. Here, here we go. Oh yeah. Get in there. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but it worked out. All right. I guess. <laughs> Cloud of seven says Try is gonna watch this later and be in stitches. You think he's gonna watch this? <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> he might get mad at you if you like. You might Justin have it on the Never background. come on the stream again. <laughs> He's it's a like, bad influence. There's, there's a reason why. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like I don't. I think they'll probably they'll probably laugh. I mean, probably will laugh. The Eric just bought it. Whatever. Nice. I mean, it's fun. It's three bucks. Yeah, this is three bucks. Yeah. Toilet game is five bucks. I mean, you're going to get minutes of fun out of this. Minutes, guys. It's, uh, there's take like your switch. A little bit so of take your switch up upstairs. Too. Take take your switch upstairs to your wife after this and put this in front of her. And be yeah, like, I'm hey, like, do this hey, we try this. Do this for 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do should. that. You like, should. Like, please she please report she back. She does not like games. <laughs> But I'm convinced that if I just say, hey, will you try this? It'd like, yeah, I'd be like, listen, if you asked me to watch a show that you were really into and I didn't really have any interest in it for 10 minutes, I'd be like, okay, I'll do that. I'm just you know saying, what? I just want you to try this for 10 minutes. You know what's funny is that I feel like my screen is getting darker because the OLED's like, oh, we've had a static shot for too long. Oh, <laughs> really? Graphics. Yeah. Um, I don't think I noticed it. I've, I've been playing it on my OLED, and I don't think I've noticed that. But maybe it's just me. I That's weird. Know, it's... But I'm going to see, because, I mean, she does, she does, like, not like games at all. But I'm convinced that if she just tried this, she'd be like, oh. Well, you know, when I first fired this up, because I had seen, like, there were seriously, like, half a dozen people on my friends list who were playing this, and I was like, what in the, what is going on? Like, I never see that unless, like, a Pokemon or a Zelda or an Animal Crossing comes out or something. You know? Right. Um, so I started playing it, and I was just like, okay, like, I guess I kind of get it. And then when I realized there was no timer, I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, suddenly. It's I don't know. That, that was the moment where I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and it's just it's just nice and take my time relaxing, right yeah get in there oh come on you can bump Ooh, in there, there. oh, oh, oh right. yeah there it's all right all right see all right you're getting see you know, so you're 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 definitely understanding like the, yeah the draw of and that's the thing is like you you shouldn't be uh like rushing because you never know when things might just exactly just see how it plays out because you know it could work it work to your benefit And then something just like kind of they have like a mind of their own kind of this has been fun we are coming up on 11 o'clock 11 o'clock so this is probably your 
last round. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me on. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, I'm glad you are able to do it. <laughs> Bad influence as I am. <laughs> I made you spend money tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I didn't technically spend any money because it was... Uh, oh, coins. That's it, was right. just, it was just the coins, yeah. It's, uh, crypto. It's Nintendo crypto. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> Oh, they're, they just like kicked off, like anti Vernon, like stopped. I wish that I could, you know, swap out like Tetris style. Yeah. Something. Well, if this is as successful as it appears to be, just from a sales standpoint, maybe, maybe we'll get Suica Game 2. Have all these like quality of life improvements. <laughs> yeah. It'll be the greatest dropping fruit game ever made. <laughs> I I still like that first round was my best one. I was like, didn't even understand how to play it at the beginning. Oh my god, Dad eleven fifty three just mentioned my old uh, podcast, <laughs> Popcorn Poops. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, so... I'm I'm here. I'm chilling. That's what I'm doing. Oh, uh, so I wonder, did you just? Did Dad uh, one one five three like know of that before, or did they you just like uh, look it up? I don't know. <laughs> uh, he said good night, y'all. It was a blast to see what the husband of the host of Popcorn Poops is up to these days. Yep, um, not making things for YouTube as I probably should be. I am going to get back to it. Like it is, it is a goal of mine. The channel is not quite dead yet, but. Um, I do have an infant now and I'm working on some other stuff with uh, the Chattanooga Film Festival. And just to plug that again, if you guys yeah. wanted to, to check out our um, Patreon, just go to Patreon and, and search Chattanooga Film Festival. And all the content that we put on there is available, like, you know, uh, basically anywhere. I think it might be geolocked to the US, maybe. But you could probably figure that out if you go look at it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but we do have secret screenings every month and we've got a really special one uh, this week on Wednesday is our Christmas special it'll be like three and a half hours long so if you don't have anything planned for Wednesday night um, <laughs> come join the Patreon and, and you'll get access hours? to that yeah yeah we've got a lot of a lot of things planned lots of little fun stuff you know I think I'm not going to work on the uh, I don't care about getting that duo episode I'm just going to play this <laughs> Look what I've done. <laughs> I, I don't care about meeting that embargo time. Uh, Eric went. Oh, Eric said Chattanooga. I went to UTC. Go Mox. My wife teaches part time there. So. <laughs> um, like I yeah I know it's like like directly eleven o'clock right now, but I need I need to finish this. I need to help try finish this episode, or else I, right. I would go longer. Um, well, let me make Thank sure. Thank you so much for having me. Broken Halo, it is available in the USC shop now. Okay. Just making sure I didn't miss any. Uh, yeah, I didn't see any. any of the rest just, up. Yeah, I didn't see any either. Um, but yeah, look for that. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully we're not up all night finishing it. <laughs> that, that would suck. Uh, but... <laughs> It, it was not looking too bad. Before. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yep. I mean, it's nothing, nothing crazy going on with it. So, uh, it's been, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, anyways, thanks. Thanks, Dustin for, for hanging out. Thanks for having me. And, no uh, thank you to everybody who donated tonight and I hope everyone has a great week. And uh, take care and see you soon. Good night. Good night.